Hello everybody, we're back. No Lex again, of course, but that's because they're dealing with some personal stuff, I think. And they'll be back soon, hopefully, because they're the best and they're my favorites, so everyone else here can just, you know, whatever. You know what, Justin? We can just leave, if no. that's how you yeah. feel. No. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we can get Don Danilo oh, back. Yeah. No, Don's dead, is, Don's dead as fuck. So, um, <laughs> uh, there might not be a session next week. We'll see. It depends how internet is set up or I'm moving into. But there might be, so who knows? If I don't have internet by Tuesday, there's no session to, on next Wednesday, so, you know. Because okay. I can't set okay, your boundaries. I, I can't do it if I don't have internet. Just sit in the um, round of McDonald's. Boom. No. Smoke signals. Smoke signals. And whoever's closest no. will interpret them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys remember when I tried streaming without an Ethernet connection? It was all Wi Fi. Well, I'm not doing uh, that again. Uh, we're not doing that again. Uh, Kate, do you have anything? Uh, I have an Etsy shop. As a matter of fact, I got oh. two. Uh, oh yeah uh one you can get awesome custom plushies and dice bags for a friend or family member or the other one you can get awesome rpg themed stickers and bumper stickers to plaster all over your hydro flasks or your car or your window or your suitcase or your yada or your baba or your yaga or your this or your that or anything you want to put them on Check them out at etsy.com slash shop slash Kate Craft Studio US or etsy.com slash shop slash bad dice co. Bad I feel like I forgot an L in one of those words. That's okay. <laughs> the least used letter in the alphabet. That's not true. I just uh Sam, any development developmental news over there? Nope, not yet. Okay. <laughs> Sweet. Short We're working and to the on point. It. Just, nope, not yet. All righty then. So, last we left off, shit was hitting the fan a little. The second group closed the rift beneath Eidolod after fighting the weird eyeball monster that basically got annihilated and all of his little guys from a meteor swarm spell by Ogden Boom. Boom. There, at one point, there was like 13 nooses running around or something. So there was that. It was chaos. And that rift was closed. And that group teleported themselves to Stone Sun, the capital city of Silger, into the head, or the archaeological society over there, the head building in the capital city over on Silger, to tackle the rift within the jungle of Amin. Meanwhile, the first group, who we are now playing, uh, familiarized themselves with the airship they were gifted by Sigmund, and in the process met Captain Crocus, a bipedal Canary Aarakocra, and his crew of also Canary Aarakocra pirates. Uh, while sailing the airship, you guys were shown around and even given a lesson in using these very powerful elemental cannons aboard the ship that deal a lot of damage. <clears throat> Using them, uh, using them to do target practice on the captain because he can't die apparently. Eventually, the airship arrived at a mountain range known as Bahamut's End, and the group made their way through an old pilgrim pilgrimage path, eventually coming to a long since abandoned chapel that housed the remains of Bahamut from when he was slain by Tiamat a long time ago. However, the chapel was the home for the next rift you intended to close, and was protected by a creature of legend. A titan of infamy, a Tarrasque. But it had been corrupted by Cathosis's influence, much like yourselves, with multiple eyes growing across the entirety of its body. It's Tarrasque time. Everybody roll initiative. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Uh, this battle map does not have snapping to the grid because I had to make layer effects on it, so. Rip. I leave for like an hour at the end of the night. And yeah. uh, y'all fuckers do this. They didn't do anything. Probably the worst time to roll a natural 20 for a 33. Mm. Hey, that's fine. Oh, no. No. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry, Garrett. But hey, I can, I'm can. i resistant to most damage. You're immune to most damage. I'm, I'm immune to most... I'm immune to non-magical damage, and oh. I have evasion. Well, the Trask so... is just not going to hurt you, basically. 
Yeah. Art hey, attack, art attacks Karask are isn't going to get me, so magical. you may as well. No, it's attacks are not magical, so that's fun. Not uh, the cool. fifth edition one. Not the fifth that's edition why... one. A oh. clay golem can technically beat the Tarask. Speaking oh, yeah. of, uh, but this one's different. This one's different. It's got eyeballs everywhere. He's not I like any other. Uh, uh, and... I think it's flesh golem that's immune to um, bludgeoning, cursing, slashing. He wears Converse to Just prom. for a little bit more of context, <laughs> it's also looking incredibly sickly. <laughs> like, and it also it's lumbering around a little bit, kind of like Rexy in the last Jurassic World movie. Can't move that quick. Real Do you old. mean like it wants to throw up? Kind of sick. No, like. Just really thin and emaciated. Oh, like my cat at the moment. <laughs> oh, no. Ooh. Um, this one, this is like... She's gonna be 21. She's ancient. She's still living her best life. <laughs> this is like a... This Tarrasque was, like, raised by Tiger King. So yeah. it's, like, not, like, a healthy... Yeah. Free-range tiger. And we don't have to see... We don't have to say... It. We don't have to say allegedly, either. All right. It's got uh, hot worms. So, uh, coin, what'd you get I for initiative? I got worms. Caleb, uh, that was I love 15. you more and more every one day. Oh, yeah, this dress <laughs> definitely has worms. You see a couple fall out of his bunghole. Oh, no. They're like um, the size of a person. Uh, yeah, they are the size of a person. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> they're good. Wow. Eat. They're good. Eat. They look like they're good eating. Uh, that would that would crush coin. Yeah. Druck, what'd you get for initiative? 25. So let's go. Christ. 13. Avon. Eighteen. And okay. elderly looking Henry Lofferton because Carnifex is currently shunted away. That would be a thirteen, my good sir. What's your okay, so Flitz goes before you. Um do you want me to roll for Lenny as well? Yeah, let's get Lenny in here. Okay, I'll roll. I'll, I'll see what this give me a second. Well, then he's a Dragonel, correct? That is correct. I can send you a link to the stats. Oh, I got it. I, I got it. Oh, you got it. him? Pulled yeah. up. Yeah. All right, so... I'm Pull gonna... out Lenny, and then... Uh... Right, oh, I'll quiet, give you that everybody. roll. <laughs> he's got 58 okay. hit points. I swear to God if Lenny outrolls me. 13 hmm. armor class? Oh, of course he did. Oh, no. Uh, no is no. Lenny going before coin? Uh, no, no, he's a nine. Nine. Okay. Or you can just go nine. after me, or a nine, whatever works. Depends how we're doing it. If you're doing him as mounted combat, he goes, he shares a turn with you. If it's not mounted combat, he's got his own. However you want to um, do it. He's got his own. Cool. I'll, 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 I'll keep that up. I'll be, oh, I'll be good. Alrighty. All right, yep, just a reminder, battle map is not on the grid, which means the rulers are not going to be accurate because I had to do fun little layer effects with these pillars. Uh, the pillars you see are also looking kind of weak and that the ceiling is also not faring so well. Looks like this place could come crumbling down at any hot little second. Ricky's not here, so we don't have to worry about Mr. Fluffles. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Eclipse, you're up first. Cool. Um... For some reason, um, I couldn't... Your token is being really weird, so that's what you get. Okay, so Eclipse <laughs> shrinks four inches, um, and then uh, she goes into, like, a sprinter start stance um, and just, like, looks at Druck, nods in eye contact, um, just, like, uh, do what you gotta do, bro, kind of thing. Hell yeah. Um, I can take it, and then sprints across the battlefield to the opposite side using her feline agility. Yeah, you can. Um, uh, so that would move her speed up to 60, bonus action dash, so she's got 120 feet of movement. Yep. Um... Uh, so let me just mark that off real quick. Perfect. Also, um, what size is uh, Lenny? Large, I believe. Uh, yeah, he is large. Perfect. Large is the large and in charge. Large and in charge, um, Lenny. And I want to try to run up this thing, like either its leg or its tail, like up its up to its back. Okay. And try to climb on top of him. Well. Because Sam pointed it out, and we can't have fun anymore. <laughs> uh, there are now rules for attempting to climb around on a creature. 
Well, but because thanks, this thing is Sam. because this thing is this is just basically <laughs> to see how well you can hold on when it starts to move. Yeah. Kind yeah. of thing. You have a gotcha. climbing speed. So I think I, I have a climbing speed of twenty feet. Because I don't want to pull up nine hundred source books. Save a we're just gonna go one. contested <clears throat> athletics. Athletics? Yeah. Great. I can, I can tell you what it is if you want. <laughs> tell I'm me an what expert it is. Athlete. It's it's actually uh it's it's the opposite of uh the initial one is opposite of grapple, so the attacker can use either athletics or acrobatics, and the defender has to use, I believe it's acrobatics. What the fuck? Alright, cool. After that, subsequent rounds to try and shake oh. them off, it can be athletics. Okay, cool. So yeah, okay. whatever you want on this thing is gonna go with I guess straight. I'm gonna use athletics because I'm an expert athlete. Alright, cool. <laughs> that landed on top of my dice. Okay, that is a 24. You clamber on board and feel like you're doing a good old job. Cool. Um, And then I'm going to, with my action, uh, I'm going to take Moon Sliver um, and try to like find a gap between the scales. Oh, um, any gaps just... between the scales are just eyeballs. Okay, then I'm going to stab it into an eyeball. Yeah, um, yeah, do it. I dare you. Uh, that is a 27 to hit. Oh, that does hit the Tarrasque. <laughs> Alright. Um, when I'm you do stab down, it. you do see how thick its armor plating is, and it's, like, <laughs> thick. Okay, cool. Um, Which means it has a lot of AC. Yeah, okay, really cool. Gotta cool, lean cool. Into the but thing I have like, a lot there. of sneak attack dice. Um, oh, yeah. I'm also going to use a maneuver for this. I'm going to use Distracting Strike. No. Um, so that our Tarrasque boy... <laughs> so, unfortunately, has... um, you can't do that. Why not? Because the DM's word is law. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. It's called the rule of cool. Um, yeah? Alien. And that's not cool. Can you do something with the rule of cool? <laughs> no, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Ugh. <sighs> Um, just I'm, I'm distracted because I'm making Lenny's token. Thank you. Also, when the Tarasket hits, it, it gets hit. It, it says that witch Carol Baskalis killed her husband. There, there's Lenny's token. Ten, twenty, <laughs> thirty. 32. And because they can't, people can't see the battle map. I can't get in trouble for using copyrighted images. <laughs> Carol Basilisk. Um, so I'm gonna use a oh, a, a thing. No, I'm gonna save those <laughs> for when I crit. All right. Um, so that is a 32 plus it's still plus eight, me. so a 40 total magical piercing damage. Perfect. Just for context, this thing is about 50 feet tall, 70 feet long. Cool. Yeah, and I Eclipse is on its back. Yep. So how much and damage then just is that, sorry? waves to Drock, like, bring it on. How much damage, sorry? 40 total. Magical? Uh, magical piercing. Alrighty. Oh. Cool. Excellent. Anything else? Uh, nope, that was action, bonus action, and movement. Do you know what I find really fun? Uh, the trap's going next? Yeah, it's a legendary action. It's going to swing its tail up at you. <laughs> Great, thanks. But I mean, you're gonna be fine, but it will knock you off. But again, you'll be fine. Will it knock uh, me off? Though? We'll find out. Uh, let's see. Quickly. I want to see how far. Uh, let, let's let's take let's bets on how far how far, far Eclipse gets flung. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, let's see if this hits. Thirty six to hit. Um. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> okay, so just a little bit. It's like it's trying to shake you off so instead of doing that it just brings the massive like multiple tree trunk thick tail up at you like you're getting hit by a double decker bus um mm -hmm. you don't take any damage because it's not magical uh huh but it is a lot of force behind that yeah I, I need you to make a strength saving throw a strength saving bro yeah. Yeah. This, this is to see if you turn into like a pokemon like team rocket blasting off again star yeah. <laughs> star twinkle yeah I suppose it, it, it can't hurt you but i suppose it could like bury you in rubble <laughs> yeah it can make me imp like impossible to move 
<laughs> God damn. I'm just gonna keep running up it then. Um, Let's go. Oh god, this is a plus zero. Oh, you gotta roll nat 20 on this then. Yeah, no, nah, that's not gonna do it. Okay, cool. Not gonna do it. You get... Wait, what are my reactions? Yeah, no. <laughs> you get no just... reactions. I just wanna look at my reactions real quick. Cool. Well, anyway, uh... you get knocked 20 feet off and land from yeah. the ground okay. over there. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Great. But it, does, it, it, it doesn't hurt whatsoever. Yeah, because I don't take falling damage either. Yeah, because you're a lichen. You're a werewolf, so you're immune to all that yeah. dumb stuff. That's a tough cat. See, it balances out. Kenna I just... is vulnerable to it all, <laughs> and you're immune. Um, yeah, I just roll my neck, and I'm like, come on! Uh, and I get ready to run back up. Right. But you are prone, so... Oh, cool. Just say, you're always like watching all Eclipse just like speed Naruto run towards this Tarrasque, leap up, <laughs> run up its tail... And then the tail stabs into it. Backed off. It roars, and the tail just comes down and poof, Dragon Ball style, like flies off and slams into the ground and just poof, <laughs> like skids. Was literally a non-magical Goku. <laughs> uh, that'll bring us to Druk. Uh, Druk is going to. Oh, this. Uh, uh, never mind. You're never mind about. Never mind what I was going to say. Go ahead. Uh, Druk's going to move to here. Five. 10, 15. He's going to use 15 as movement to get about there. And, uh, like, Eclipse is... I can't even tell where they're at on this thing. Oh, they're behind, way back. Okay, yeah. okay. Um, and he is going to use uh, one of the powered actions from his Mantle of the Forest... Okay. Which is Nature's Glide. Sure. For the next hour, you and up to six other creatures you can see within 30 feet fall under the effects of the freedom of movement. Uh, freedom of movement, the spell. While this spell is active, each creature's movement speed is increased by 10 feet, uh, as well as the, um, the spell freedom of movement so people... Uh, know what this means uh, <clears throat> you touch a willing creature don't need to touch because it's 30 uh, for the duration the target's movement is unaffected by difficult terrain and spells and other magical effects uh, can neither reduce the target's speed nor cause the target to be paralyzed or restrained the target can also spend 5 feet of movement to automatically escape from non-magical restraints, such as manacles or a creature that has it grappled. Finally, being underwater imposes no penalties on the target's movement speed or attacks. That probably won't matter, but big thing was if you're grappled or anything like that, you can spend five feet of your movement to just not be. And that lasts for an hour. Yes. No concentration. Damn. So be aware of that. Druk just did that. Um, everybody has that except slick for with Eclipse. Mud. Everyone is now yeah. slick with mud. <laughs> You're all oiled up. Um, Somewhere uh, Ogden is like, did someone just get greased? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I sense a disturbance in the uh, this is water oil based lube can't really do anything else I don't have a bonus action um, and I don't really want to get close to this thing fair enough so uh, I'm just gonna end my turn um, <clears throat> moving back five feet into the middle of oh, the group righty. end of your turn it's gonna use a legendary action and move up to half its movement speed towards the cluster of people over here I mean... and like I said it's moving real slow and lumbering around because it's so old and sick. So half its movement speed is not a lot. There, half movement. It barely moved. Any attack of op opera? Oh no, you got knocked too far away. Um. I always feel yeah, sad. Yeah, I don't have a twenty foot it. reach. Avon, it's your turn. Oh, I feel so sad. Okay. Um, also, weirdly, you can see, like, some of the armored spikes it has on its throat kind of are glowing a little blue. Oh, I don't like that. I do not like that. 
<laughs> and so for all the fun stuff you you mentioned like 10 minutes ago about <laughs> um the area and the necrotic damage and stuff like that is that happening to this area right now it's the entire like place you're in okay thank you so you're all resistant to necrotic this thing's vulnerable to radiant Me and my fucking that no death And nobody can be death frightened force. from its frightening presence, which is also good. That that is as, a, that is a is very that good is thing. that as long as we're within range of coin or just in general? Just in general, because okay. the, hollow, the, hollow the hollow spell prevents you from yeah. being frightened. Okay, so everybody except for Henry. No, I rescinded that because uh, Henry can't be possessed while here, so his fiend version is kicked out of his body while he's in here. Uh, okay, 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 cool. So there is no current effects right now. It is just old man Henry. It's why Henry aged to his, what he should look like. Oh, no. <clears throat> All right. I'm done. So yeah, what's Yvonne doing? Thirty-five feet for me. I'm going to move about five to into the corner, 25 to And there is a lot of rubble on the ground, so freedom of movement also helps you with the difficult terrain this all would have been. Oh, bless. I'm going to go... We have 40 feet because of Druk. So I would be within 60 mm -hmm. feet of this thing now. Uh, bonus action spiritual weapon at the uh the seventh level and i'm going to place it right in front of our tarask buddy uh i don't know if i can't can, like yeah, there's here. nothing yeah I, I know where you're gonna put it you know what I, yeah so uh yeah, that's that's what I'm going to attempt to do because all my stuff is uh either necrotic or healing, and I yeah, this is fine. This is fine. Uh, okay. I yeah, I'm going to attempt to hit it with that spiritual weapon. Okay, for for now, the spiritual weapon is an wolf token. I like it. I like it. It fits the theme. Okay, uh, go for 27 it. Twenty-seven to hit. That'll hit. <clears throat> Eighteen damage. What kind of damage? Uh, force damage. Cool. All right. Oh, all right. All right. All right. So this freaking just cat and nine tail just comes out, goes, gives okay. it a nice little whip. Um, bonus action and that's uh, I'm just just going to chill over there and hope I don't die. Perfect. So, yeah. getting whipped by your spiritual weapon, it just turns its head. It's looking around. You can see the spikes on its neck start to glow a little more and then kind of start to go down the throat. And it opens up its mouth and very similar to Godzilla's uh, breath that he does. <laughs> you see this little ball of energy start to form in the Tarrasque's mouth. Just a blue energy and then exhales Chuckles. a beam I'm of energy <laughs> very similar to Godzilla's like napalm fire destruction breath um, and that's in a 150 foot line ooh yeah and that's just gonna go but how thick is it <laughs> 10 feet wide Okay. <laughs> Have you seen how thick her ass is, Garrett? Of course um, it is. <laughs> that beam is going to go towards Yvonne. Just pfft, and it'll go through Yvonne and hit the pillar behind and start to cause the pillar to disintegrate. Boo, that's not good. As it does, basically, it's Calamity Beam. Yvonne, I need a dexterity saving throw. So for the longest time, I thought Calamity meant funny. No. Uh, when I was playing Breath of the Wild Calamity Ganon, I was like, what's so funny about Ganon? I don't get it. <laughs> uh, oh, and, uh, oh no, never mind. You're fine. What'd you, so yeah, never mind what I was going to uh, say. Uh, uh, a 10. 10. A 10. 
cool. Solid. That's solid. That's cool. It's not single digits. It could be worse. It could be worse. You could take a hundred and one force damage. That's a lot of damage. Yeah. But you know what? That's not half my health. You gonna need some flex. Does that day. bring you to zero or anything? Nope. Cool. So you just see this beam of disintegrating energy hit Yvonne and just <laughs> and carve through Yvonne and entirely delete the pillar <clears throat> that's behind, that Yvonne was in front of. And the ceiling buckles a bit and rocks from the ceiling start to fall and I need everyone to make dexterity saving throws. Dude, like the image in my mind is, I don't know if you guys have seen One Punch Man, but when Saitama goes and like punches but just comes short of Genos and in the background is just like this completely disintegrated mountain. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a big beam of the disintegration energy right here. That's what that blue is on the map. Psst. And that yeah. pillar falls and then hey everyone make me deck saves. Alright. Uh yeah. Twenty six for eclipse. Okay. Six. Let me pull up in the DMG, what they have for suggested damage for Rocks Fall, everyone 12. dies. Twelve! We're good! It's a little better than the last time. Rocks Fall, everyone dies. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, I heal people! I shouldn't die! Yeah. Oops! Yeah, you need to stay up, bitch! Yeah. I'm not used to this! <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, cool. Uh, Henry, what'd you get? Boa. Six. <clears throat> Six. Henry, little mm. old man over there. Ooh, I rolled really good. 33 bludgeoning damage. Ouch. Owie. So it just rocks. Just Does Henry get like a little berry? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> just like chunks falling. Not, not enough to completely. Oh, not like huge rocks. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, like, could have been a full, whole ceiling collapse. Druck, what'd you get? 19. You don't take any damage. Yes. Uh, Avon. 12. So, after getting hit by this powerful beam, you take 25 Just bludgeoning damage. Insult to <laughs> injury. Uh, Coin, what'd you get? Uh, Coin got 15, and Lenny got a 20. Coin, you have evasion, correct? I don't think so, but I have shield mastery. So you don't take, you don't take any. <laughs> yeah, it's a shield up. save thing. Dun, 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 clunk, clunk, clunk. So you're fine, no so, so, Yeah, so that's my that's my reaction then. I nice. And uh, oh, so you're using your reaction to do that? I Let's think see. for shield mastery you have to. Okay. So let, to me, let me let me let me make you sure. If you want to get pelted by some rocks. Um. No, I'll save I'll save the health for now. Thank you. Yeah, I'll, I'll shield up. All right. Cool. Thank you. Uh, I'll check and see what so that is. since Lenny succeeded, Lenny takes half damage. So instead of thirty three, Lenny takes. Not that. Sixteen. 16, thank you. Flitz. Um, I can keep track of that, too. All right. Yeah, Flitz got a natural 20 for a 23. So Flitz also takes half damage. 16 to Lenny. Lenny should be at 42. And then Flitz will take... Yeah, Flitz will take... Oh, why am I rolling separate damage for these? I shouldn't be doing that. Yeah, okay, it was 33 for the start one. So yeah, anyone who succeeds is 16. So let's take 16. Uh, is that everybody? Henry Flitz coin. I think that's everybody, right? Eclipse, don't worry about it. Because you're immune to all that stuff. <laughs> all right. So that's that. Let's see if that recharge, they recharge their beam ability. Nope. Damn. So you see all the colorful, like, the, the glowing on their throat kind of just fade to just being orange Tarrasque flesh. Damn, I want to do more beams. Uh, coin. It does look like if all of these pillars collapse, though, this entire ceiling will cave in. And that's a lot of damage. <clears throat> You're right. That is a lot of damage. Um, so, uh... <clears throat> uh, Sir Coin Harding. The, uh. You gotta keep the Sir in there. Uh, Der Silbern Kleiner. Uh, Finger? Der Silbern Kleiner Finger. <laughs> Guys, he's the Silver Pinky. <laughs> <laughs> um. Where are you? Okay, 
Okay, so 5, 10, 15. And then it'll be Flitz and Mr. Henry. Are you on top of the... No, I don't think I can get you. Oh, and there's also the rift, but I don't have the rift on the map. The rift would be... I'm going to draw the rift as well. That's a good call. It's purple. 15, purple 20, people eater. 20, and it's... 30, the rift is right here. Seven, Boom. 5, 10, 15. Don't this fall in the hit. don't <clears throat> fall in the rift eclipse. <clears throat> so I'm gonna fly uh, 15 feet. So that's just a quarter of my movement speed. Oh, and I'm going yeah. to, And I'm going to cast. Here we go. Uh, holy aura. Okay. Which um does some pretty sweet buff shit. So, uh, creatures of your choice uh, within the 30 foot radius of you, uh, when you cast a spell shed a dim light 5 feet and have advantage on all saving throws and other creatures have disadvantage on attack rolls against them until the spell ends, which is uh, up to 1 minute um, the attacker must succeed on a constitution saving throw or be blinded until the spell ends so anyone who gets melee attacked by the Tarask. Um it has to do a con uh, okay. DC 13 saving throw. Perfect. Um, <clears throat> so I used a quarter of my speed and now I'm going to go back to the map. Go into the map. Use I will say based on how lumbering this thing looks it looks like it has a movement speed of 25 feet. Based on Beautiful. how sickly and just messed up it is. So it's not a fat dress are usually pretty fast this one not so much so yeah then coin is going to in a typical coin fashion he's Perfect. going to slide over behind a pillar and actually take a moment to to assess because even this thing is bigger than anything coin has ever conceived of other than bahamut's greatness yeah uh <clears throat> Sigmund in his great worm form would be bigger than this thing. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Cool. 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 So I've I've recently hung out oh, yeah. with some pretty dope with okay, some big cool. dudes. Right. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's gonna bring us to. I want to be big. Lit. I think it's just gonna do another legendary action because I got those back and move half movement again towards the cluster of people down there at the bottom. Yeah. At half movement, so half of twenty-five is. Twelve ten. and a half. So it moves, yeah. Yeah, but there's no, you can't do that. So there, it so moves ten. two squares basically, because this thing's big and lumbering. Flitz. Uh, Brittany, just so you know, your uh, spiritual weapon is under the terrasc right now. Just, just so you know. Just an update. But, uh, but does it? It. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Flitz. Flitz is going to cast a uh, power word kill on Henry. Won't work. No, he doesn't even have it. Um, <laughs> Flitz, buddy. I think Flitz would cast a spell. And I know what Flitz would do. So I'm going to do what Flitz would do. And do his funky little Funky, fresh. Um, what is that ability he's got here? Where is it? Elemental gift to do some flying around. So he's gonna fly around. Plus he's gonna fly. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. 30 because of freedom. Flying around. A little more flying speed over here. Fly over here. And as flying as he's flying away, he's gonna throw some eldritch blasts at this thing. Hell yeah. Because, I mean, that's what Flitz does. That sounds Flitz as fuck, bro. So, throws the first Eldritch Blast at the Tarask for 23 to hit. So, someone here in the party, roll me a d6. Rolling it now. Because Tarasks have a really fun little thing they can do. So One! Yeah. One! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Cool. It hits the carapace of the Tarrasque and the Eldritch Blast. It hits. Hits the hits the carapace of the Tarrasque and the Eldritch Blast just doesn't do anything. 
Blitz is like, uh, number two. 19 to hit. Misses. Third Eldritch Blast. 14. Misses. So the first actually hits the Tarrasque, but does nothing. The other two just wide. Blitz then hides behind the pillar. Henry. Smart move. Oh, well, it looks like I'm not going to be able to uh, <clears throat> make much use of magic, so I might as well just, uh, well... Uh, Henry is going to uh, once again. Oh yeah, no, Henry wasn't with the beneath the tide people when they. Never mind. Mm -hmm. No one's no one's ever encountered a Tarrasque in combat, so no one knows their abilities. So never mind. Uh, Henry is this going is to wave his hands in a similar way as before and say, "Well, since Garnifex isn't here, I guess I'll just have to uh, play with the spell on my own." And he's going to uh, make a few gestures, casting uh, True Polymorph again, but this time he gets bigger, and then he hits hit Pit Fiend size and keeps getting bigger and keeps getting bigger until he reaches Gargantuan and turns into an ancient brass dragon. That would be that size, I believe. Kaiju fight! Because Trask, yeah. Trask is chonky, but so not as big as Ancient Dragon. Not as big as Trask. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, and then he's So you gonna... just... <laughs> and Druck is now currently standing under you. Yeah, and then I'm gonna just movement speed, take off with the fly speed, just whap the wings. Which, you, like which is big... also given some extra because of uh, freedom of movement. Oh, yeah. And then that's an 80-foot move speed, so... What? No, no, go, 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 go. Okay, 80 foot move speed, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Just a big flap and just like one arcing leap through the air. The land next to the Tarask, right up in its face. Cool. All right. And that's my turn. Legendary action. Tail attack at you. Alright, and unfortunately True Polymorph doesn't let you get their legendary actions, otherwise I would use one. Is True, is true Polymorph concentration? Uh, let me double check. I believe it is, because if you concentrate for the full amount, you become that creature until it's dispelled. Uh, yes, it is concentration. So you won't have to be concentration checks your... you take damage. Yep. Oh, With what's the your current armor class? 20. Okay. <clears throat> um. That'll be a 28 to hit. Oh, Silver yeah, barbs. Okay. As a reaction, free roll at disadvantage. Can you see uh, same, well you get prone. the next advantage. All right. So wait, what am I doing? What am I doing here? Uh, you have to re-roll and use the lower number. Okay. Uh, seventeen plus nineteen to hit. Bro. Woo! So I think I hit. Yeah. So. <laughs> so twenty-eight. Uh, the tail slams into Dragon Henry. Not gonna do that again. That's a waste of a spell slot. <laughs> <laughs> Trasks are pretty. They hit pretty hard. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's gonna be eighteen bludgeoning damage. Okay. Let me. Uh, I guess I'll, how do I keep track of pen and paper? Pen and paper, it is. It's not uh, like there's no way to keep track of polymorph. That'd be great. I would. Uh, eighteen, you said. Yep. And then I okay. need you to make a strength saving throw using the ancient brass dragons. Okay. You have advantage on the next attack roll, ability check, or saving throw within the next minute. So you have advantage yeah. on your uh, saving throw. You don't oh, have okay. to use it. Yeah, within, I won't just within this. the next minute. Uh, twenty-six. You are not knocked prone as a dragon. Okay, and then do I need to make a con save against the eighteen you, damage? You do. So DC ten. Twenty-one. Yeah. Still a dragon. Plus Thirteen con. Yep. <laughs> All right. That'll bring us to yeah Lenny's turn. Okay. Give me one second. I'm going to move something so I can just see. This Lenny is not better. affected by... Or, uh, I don't think Lenny's affected by freedom of movement. That would be why his stat block didn't pop up. I searched Lenny. <laughs> <laughs> if you are if you all can see the battle map, Lenny is currently Falcor. You just, you just, you just see Lenny knowing the omnipotent person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... uh. What's Lenny going to so, do in this situation? So he is or isn't affected by the... I don't think, so he, I don't think he is affected by freedom of movement. So then just 60 feet is what he's got. Okay, cool. For fly speed. I think Druck just cast it on the peoples. Cool. Okay. All right. 
Weird. So he's going to move over to here. He's going to move. Uh, he's going to fly around and just do a quick wave. <laughs> quick wave at uh, Coin. And Coin just gives him a big thumbs up and he flies around to the other side of the pillar just waiting. Okay. Uh, just so you know, you'll, Coin would know this. Uh, Lenny cannot deal damage to the Tarrasque. Most likely it looks like Ken Lenny will not be able to hurt the Tarrasque. Okay. Right on. Yeah. So Lenny's just flying around having a good time. <laughs> all right. Hey, you all hear a hoo hoo. And then uh, uh, Eclipse, you're prone over there. I sure am. The rift between um, you and the Tarrasque. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to spend half my movement to stand up, brush right. myself off. Uh, so while you stand up, just give me a perception check for fun. Because you'll oh, be, be looking right at the rift as you stand up. Yeah. And looking at okay, the Okay, um, perception. Uh, I wouldn't get advantage from smell, would I? No. Okay, that's a 25. 25. On the other side of the rift, you can look, you're looking, it's like you're looking out into another rift that's open somewhere. Uh, and you see the familiar form of Sigmund, Hazar, Trendel, and a man you don't recognize, you don't recognize Trendle, you don't recognize Hazar. You recognize Sigmund. Yeah. I see Sigmund and three others. Three others with a dwarf in armor. Okay. And you see Sigmund turning into his great worm form. You see uh, the others turning into dragon forms except for the dwarf knight. And they're fighting their own creature. And they're also, it looks like they're tackling their own rift. Uh, and the, some of the dragons are covered in eyes, much like the people here, like the Faust and the Furious that you're currently traveling with. Some of these people that are trying to close this other rift are also covered in eyes. Um, specifically, Sigmund's dragon form is covered in eyeballs now. Oh no, Sigmund! Uh, yeah. And let me just give you a better idea of what you're seeing here. Can I see... Like, can I get any area of, like, where they might be hanging out? Like, what region of the world they might be in? Uh, no. Never seen it before. They're in, like, a gloomy oh. kind of isle On, like, a gloomy, misty island. And they're fighting a similar creature to the Jurassic in terms of corruption. But those people are fighting in a corrupted astral dreadnought. Oh. That is coming to okay. the material plane, which they're not supposed to do. They can only reside on the astral plane. But that's through that <laughs> rift. And it looks like you get a brief glimpse of somewhere else in the world before the rift goes back to the void that it should be, of just eyes okay. in the sky. Cool, 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 cool. That's not terrifying. Um. Cool. Seeing that, uh, I'm just gonna like silently wish Sigmund luck. Um, okay. but I got my own things to deal with right now. Uh, so. And then as soon as Action, like Eclipse uh, sees that, everybody else would see what's going on in the rift, and then before it, back to normal. Okay. Um, I'm going to use movement and bonus action, so... Uh, please let me pick up my character! I know, it's rough, right? 5, 10, 15, 20, I'll round the rift. <laughs> is, is this in the rift? Yeah, but you, yeah, it's fine. Can, I can't, it's just, like, it's just do the an ADHD it's hip skirt around you do, the rift? You can do an ADHD, ADHD <laughs> hip skirt. <laughs> Sweet. Great. Um, Dexterity well, right saving. Here. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'll do it. 5, 10, 15, 20. Oh, it's 25, 30, 35, 40, 40. I'm going to go 45 right under the Tarrasque. You're, like, right under um, its And I hole. want to try to um, attach myself to its ankle. Look out for the worms. Oh yeah, another worm falls out. <laughs> they're just for they're just flavor worms for flavor. They're not uh, doing yeah. anything mechanically. They're just falling out and splattering. Um the only news was here. Materials. Yeah, so I'm gonna try to like stab Moon Sliver right behind its Achilles tendon. Go for it. Um and do I get flanking bonus because Henry's there? I don't we don't do flanking. Damn it. Why can't you change your mind? Because there's too many rules. Uh, that's a 16 plus 14 for a dirty 30. Dirty 30 hits. 
30, 30. Okay. Um, that is... Everyone's, you know, everyone but Flitz's Elder's Blast have penetrated the hide so far. Okay, I'm gonna roll these, and then I'll roll the other one. Breck hasn't given okay. him the shot yet. That's pretty good. Take these out so I don't knock them around. Alright, and then this last four. I'm excited for the dragon to fight a Tarask, though. Okay. That was a lot better than last time. Okay, so we have... Didn't even offer Druck a ride. <laughs> 10... <laughs> 20, 30, 32. Oh, that's another 40 piercing damage. Nice. Rogues. Rogues. All right. Anything else? You stab it in his ankle. Uh, No, I'm just going to try to uh, use its own body as my shield. Okay. I get it. Yeah. Until it stomps on you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> It's not going to um, hurt me. Yeah, Druk. All right, so uh, Druk realizes he's in a compromising position because he knows that uh, the drag, the new dragon on the field has just pissed this off, and the last time that this thing was pissed off, it fired a disintegration beam at the thing that pissed him off. So Druk's getting the fuck out of this you, location. You also to eradicate a gargantuan-sized pillar. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. He's, he's like, <laughs> fuck this, I'm not standing right behind the thing that's probably drawing this thing's ire. Uh, so he's gonna use his bonus action to dash. Okay. And uh, move and uh, uh, politely ask uh, Lenny if he can hop on. <laughs> Gorsh. <laughs> uh, what is that? What does uh, that translate I, to in dr draconic? <laughs> I mean, that, yeah, <laughs> Lenny kind of an can't. Affirmative, yeah. Lenny doesn't oh, speak. Right, yeah, right. I understand, but he doesn't right, say I anything. Phantom Steed, yeah, yeah, right. <clears throat> so he's uh, just gonna be like, <laughs> all right. So Druk is gonna try and he's riding like Lenny. Yeah, ride Lenny and um. Uh, so that on future turns he can yep. steady aim. All right. Uh, I will now pull up the rules for mounted combat. All right. Yeah. So is it any any actions? Uh, yeah. He's oh wait. Gonna... Uh, I gotta look at the rules for mounting. Half movement to mount. From you have the, you have the plus ten. Yeah. So you can... is he yeah. on the ground? Yeah. If he's, he's on not, the ground, then high. I have 140 move speed. Oh, yeah, you're so good. So I think I can do that. Yeah, you're good. Okay. Um, uh, so... Take 70 move speed to get on Lenny's back. He's like, <laughs> he's, just, he's just fidgety. But, uh, all right, so... Uh, I think um, I might have gone that wrong, actually. Hold on. Sorry. I will politely request that... Uh, you're good. When you know uh, mechanically, when Lenny ends his turns to make it so that I have visibility. Okay, cool. On the on the Tarask, uh, and this turn I'm going to use the Crimson Art Crossbow. Okay, yeah, half movement to mount or dismount. Cool. Uh, so if you have 100 so... movement, it's 50 movement to like. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just do a, an attack. Uh, Go with for it, Crimson Arc Crossbow, which is pure electric damage. Sure. You Excuse and me. you will get sneak attack because Eclipse is within five feet. Nice, as is technically uh, dragon. Yeah, well, Eclipse is within ten feet because they're attacking him by the ankle, and the dragon is with definitely within five feet. Cool. Uh, Twenty nine to hit. Kaiju fight. Yeah, that'll hit. Nice. Uh, so that is. Let's roll these. Well, speaking Six. of kaiju fight, Sam, I have to send you something. <laughs> Ooh, that's a bummer. Um, all right, so 32 plus 3, 35 total uh, lightning damage. Lightning damage, you say? Yeah. How much was it? Damage, I say. 35. 35. Is that including your sneak attacks? Yes. Okay. It was a pretty pretty garbage roll. That's okay. This thing is getting walloped. Uh, and this, speaking of kaiju's, here you go, Sam. Uh, okay, read that at your leisure. 
I sent it to you on Discord. Read it. Did I send it to you? That'd be bad if I sent it to somebody else. But everybody knows what you're doing anyways. That's fine. All right. <laughs> that's Druk's turn. I think we're going to follow that up with a chomp. No, that's Husted. No, yeah. Yeah. No, it did the tail attack as a legendary action. So I think we're going to do a claw attack on the dragon. Because, I mean, big old dragon. That's fair. That is a 2 plus 19. It needs a nat 1 to miss me. <laughs> that hits? This is the claw. Just... AC, two. <laughs> AC 20. Oh. Big old claw comes, 15 foot reach. Oh, AC dear. and attack bonus do not progress the same they in 5th don't, edition. do they? Attack bonus just goes whoop! Oh! Plus 10. 19 slashing damage. Okay. Not great. And then I need your DC 10 concentration check. I mean, so a concentration check's a skill check, right? Uh, it's an ability it's check. It's a saving throw. It's a saving throw, right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, do saving throws automatically fail on a one? No. Okay, I can't fail it then. Cool. Plus 13. Roll it so, for fun. All right. You get advantage. Because rolling dice is fun. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> uh, yeah, for 27. It just succeeds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can you imagine? Avon, it's your turn. I mean, that would be if like, I took 54 damage. You nearly got disintegrated. Not really. Yeah, You're yeah I'm though. just standing there. This thing just like went through my chest, and I'm just yeah. like... If you heal yourself, we wouldn't mind. We'd understand. They're fine. They're 137 of 263. Uh... This is very oh. much a kaiju fight, though. We got Godzilla breathing a breath weapon, and then we got a dragon. Good we got, Lord, we got, got freaking... not exactly King Ghidorah fighting Godzilla, missing two heads. You have two, you have two, you have, you have, do you have two extra here. heads for fun? Sure. Yay. <laughs> everybody's spread out. I don't like that. Uh, how's everybody looking? Do y'all look bad? Do y'all look up? The only one who's been hit by this thing is you. Oh, and okay. Me. And Dragon is Henry. It... Mm hmm. That... Dragon Henry, do you need assistance? No. Uh, let's see. I've taken 37 damage out of my 297. Yeah. Which is before you get to my 156. <laughs> Henry's fine. I'm You're the tank. Fine. Henry's You're tanking the tank. right now. What's Henry's inner thoughts as an ancient dragon? Um. Oh. Ronifex isn't here, so I can think this without being judged. I'm a fucking dragon. This is so cool. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's uh, amazing. Yes. So, with <clears throat> that attack happening before, my spiritual weapon, it's still there, correct? Yep. It's just underneath the Tarrasque. Uh, we're, we're gonna go for a little cheap uh, circumcision, and we're gonna bonus action and try to cut a bitch. Attempting a circumcision with a whip. I don't know how I like that. Just flavor. Just flavor. I... Also, you can't see any genitals because this thing has Wait, a cloaca. You... Oh, yeah. The enough. triple threat of but... genitals. <laughs> right in the cloaca with this whip. Let's go. Boom. Uh, 27. 27 hits. Yvonne, the Cloaca Shaker! <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Episode title? <laughs> Feel the Earth Cloaca! Uh, 17 force damage to the Cloaca. Ugh. <laughs> yes. Okay. That Audi's oh. now an innie. A couple worms fall Make out. your back a breaker! What? <laughs> Anything else, Yvonne? I am going Bonus to... Bonus action to your spiritual weapon. Uh, I am going to cure wounds on myself. All right. Let's uh, cast counters now. <laughs> I would just cast banishment on his bitch Good luck. Ass. So you uh, cure wounds on yourself? Yeah, I'm just going to cure wounds at the sixth level, give myself a little uh, nice little wake-up slap cross face. Okay. For... 30 points of health. You know what? That's good enough. Oh, I, should, I forgot to roll something when it hit with the claws and the tail. Constitution saves for being blinded. Uh, 26 from Holy War. 26. Yeah. And 15. 
Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. All right. Is that your turn, Yvonne? And I am attempting to... Oh, there we go. I was sorry. I was clicking the wrong thing. And then I'm going to go for 10, 20, 25, 30. We have 40 feet of move because Also, of this pillar isn't here anymore at the very bottom. It got disintegrated. Gotcha. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. So we're, we're just going there. All right. Just to get out a lot of stuff. Cool. That's going to bring us to... That's going to bring us to Sarask. And it's going to make five attacks on the dragon. It is now yeah. definitely a kaiju fight. Mm -hmm. So first, it's gonna, oh. come, it's gonna come for a bite attack and try to bite the dragon around the throat. Mm -hmm. so I'm it's... gonna cast uh, silvery barbs on one of those just so someone can get advantage from these five strikes. Okay, so disadvantage on the, disadvantage on the first attack. Yeah, sure. With disadvantage, that's a twenty-three. Mm -hmm. Advantage is good though, so I'm gonna mm -hmm. give myself advantage on the next one. Fair enough. Hey. <clears throat> Justin. Yes. So that is an official hit, right? Yep. Okay. Um. So then that would cause the reaction yeah. from the the thing to yep. hit. I didn't. I'm not that character in this no, you're one. Not. Shit! No. You're not. That's right. <laughs> Those are useless. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm so oh, sorry. Yes. Continue. Stop. But the roll. Dice, the dice are glitching on the side of the screen. Uh, okay. I need to do some quick maths. <clears throat> one plus one is two quick maths. Uh, that'll be... 31 piercing damage. Okay. And you're grappled by the Tarrasque. Oh, yeah. As it bites into your throat and it's like shaking the dragon neck around. Uh, con concentration check for... Uh, was your 31? Board. Yep, so 15. This is the DC... Ooh, 16. Ooh, you're still a dragon. Oh. <laughs> I rolled a three. Oh. Uh, natural 20 for a 30, so it is not blinded after that. Ooh. And then here come the claws. As it, So it's holding on to you like this, and it's just going to sort of claw Oh, the nat 20 wasn't an attack roll. No, that was the uh, con save for being oh, blinded. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, and actually, Henry affects a dragon. As you're looking into its eyes, as because you're mm. the one who's up close and personal. No one's gotten this close yet. Its eyes are like milky white. All right. Cool. This literally is my cat at the moment. Uh, and then the claw attack. 29 to hit. Mm-hmm. Tarasks, I've always wanted to do this. Uh, 29 slashing damage. Okay. So plus twenty nine is seventy seven plus twenty nine. Okay. So concentration check DC fourteen. DC fourteen. Okay. Oh, that one. Fail it. That. Okay. Fail it. I literally can't. Uh, yeah, twenty five. Can. It's fine. You'll fail it. Um, I choose to. I'm going to use legendary resistance and make you fail it. No. Uh. And then works concentration check for uh to eighteen, for the con save for being blinded. One more, so it's got one more claw attack, horns, and tail. Okay. Claw attack. 29 to hit. Kaiju fight? It's a kaiju fight, right? Hello? Mm -hmm. Honestly, this is just best case scenario uh, right now. 28 <laughs> slashing damage. This just okay. ripping into your dragon hide. Gallant torrents of blood are just like falling to the <clears throat> the floor of this chamber where um Eclipse is. <laughs> Eclipse is like ankle deep. <laughs> and it's just like spreading out and flooding, it's splashing all over the skeleton of Bahamut. Um concentration check. Okay. That was twenty eight, so it's a four another fourteen. Yep. Oh, I forgot I have advantage <clears throat> on these two. That'll be yeah, a you do. Thirty-one. That'll be a fifteen for the concentrate for the con save. Fifteen for the old con save, which I think makes it so. Um, horns, and now it's gonna like try to like rake the horns into you while it's biting you. However, you do that. Once the numbers get high, I'm too bad. I'm get bad at math. Leave him alone. <laughs> he doesn't Same. know anything. 
Uh, that'll be 35 to hit. Mm-hmm. Fuck it. Tank Henry. This is for the best. <laughs> uh, that'll be 41 piercing damage. Ooh. As the horns just stick in and, like, they scrape across dragon ribs and they pierce a dragon spleen. That is not actually mm -hmm. your spleen. It's just a yeah. dragon spleen. So I need a, const a constitution save, DC 20. Yep. Uh, 26. Woo! Uh, 17 for not being blinded. And then here comes the final attack of the five, the tail. I dropped that dice on the floor. Uh, that's a 29 to hit, though. Mm-hmm. This is the least damaging of its attacks that it has for 30 bludgeoning damage. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> and then I need constitution save for concentration. Yep. If you're still a dragon. Uh, you did 8 plus 13, 21. And then I need a strength saving throw to not be knocked prone. Okay. And um, this is plus 8. Uh, dirty oh, 20. Until this grapple ends, the target is restrained. Oh, okay. This, all, all this attacks should have been at advantage. Oh, well. It doesn't need advantage. Uh, it doesn't, yeah. So yeah, your, atta your attacks as a dragon will have disadvantage, but I mean... No, they won't. Restrained. Oh, that's right. Because uh, Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use my move action to escape that grapple. Uh, uh, only five feet of it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and also, all those attacks would be at disadvantage anyway, but or probably would be even. Plus nineteen. Of... I was rolling even. Plus nineteen oh, to hit right anyway. Um, yeah. 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 I mean, <laughs> yeah. we're kind of we are we really are splitting hairs, but I just um, I, I just I, I forget about my shit sometimes. So yeah. saying it out loud helps. So that's all of that fun stuff against Dragon Henry. <laughs> Dragon Henry still looking okay. Uh, he's taken a hundred and ninety six damage this turn. Wow. Ooh. That could have so yeah, that went he's at a hun he's at a hundred and one health still. Okay. And you watch as the spikes along its mouth begin to glow again as it recharges that <laughs> beam. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's oh, gonna no. be like Godzilla 2014, where like Godzilla like grabs the thing's head and just breathes down its throat. That was cool mm. as fuck. Move it, Lenny. <laughs> Sir Coin Harding. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh. Uh. <clears throat> Okay, he sees the big brass dragon and thinks, "Is this my moment?" And yeah, it is. He, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Kaiju fight. Kaiju, Kaiju fight. fight. Uh, so then, Coin Harding starts. Strolling up towards this thing and just takes bigger and bigger steps and uh, uses a once per day move and turns into an adult silver dragon. Uh, and that's huge, so that'll be. So, yeah, it's size huge. All uh, right, about there, we'll say. Yeah. <clears throat> so. Adult Silver Dragon, Ancient Brass Dragon, Tarask. <clears throat> it's appropriate uh, since he was stomping on Bahamut's corpse. Yeah. Yeah. No, this is. Now you fucked up. Now you fucked up. <laughs> you now have you fucked, fucked up now. Now, now you fucked now up. Now you fucked up. <laughs> you have fucked up now. Uh, so then uh, he's going to jump and then spray. Uh, uh, an attack right at the right into the terrace. You might not now. be able to. You know, uh, now I have a question. Because it may affect this turn. Yes. Wait, what's. How do I. Do I use an action to do what I just did? I'm trying to remember how you're doing that. <laughs> yeah, me too. Uh, hold on. We've got it. We'll get it. We'll get there, friends. We'll but I know you can it. do it. It's yeah, through the sword, kind of right? Cool. It's through the sword. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's probably an action then, but now I have a question because I have as an action. action. Yeah, it's your action to transform. Oh, okay. And uh, it's a through the sword. It's a young silver dragon. 
Oh, I thought it was an adult silver dragon. It's still a dragon. Yeah. I no, I can't use shape change. Oh, wait a second. I know I can't use change shape. And I can't use legendary actions. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I think it's just a young one. I can't oh, remember he... where that would be coming from. From the sword? The sword's a young... It's the sword. The sword's it's a, on the sword. The sword's a young uh, dragon. Oh, well then... Uh, yeah. Then a young dragon... A young dragon. A young dragon. Oh! A young silver. I know what you're thinking of. The feat that I gave you a couple weeks ago. When you reach uh, 17th gonna... level, you change into <clears throat> you can transform into an ancient dragon. Okay, then that is where the difference is, and I don't have that yet. Okay. Next but... level, you will. With that. Sorry. So, young that dragon, thing, you're going to be a tiny, you're going to be a bit small. <clears throat> I am going to use Baby a silver dragon. dragon silver dragon ability that I just got. Okay. Hold on, friends. Your patience is just amazing. Thank you all. Uh, through a feat with the Knights of the Warden. Are, are you thinking of your breath ability? Yes. That's also an action to do. Then I'm going to do that it, I'm sorry for all the fanfare of the cool walkout. <laughs> I realize, new stuff. Lots I, of new stuff. It's so much. Um, so I'm going to use 60. Uh, I am going to move. Where are you at? There we go. We're over here. So I'm within. Uh, all right. So I'm going to use my little guy. So I'm. Are you still? Are you still going to be a young dragon? 20, 25, 30. Uh. No. Okay. So sorry. Gonna I'm going to. You're going to be coin again. I'm going to be little little tiny coin. Uh, and I am going to use 30 foot light, and I'm going to use a 30 foot cone. Yep. The best I can aim it as, as I'm going to aim it as best I can to try and not hit. Uh, yeah, you can do that. Uh, uh, eclipse. Yeah, you can do that in a way because you can just aim it up. Yeah, or just yeah, hold it. Yeah. So that's what you're doing. Yeah, I'm going to do it, and uh, I need a DC 16 con save from you. Alrighty. Uh, 29. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to And it be. also looks like it might be immune to the paralyzed condition. Well, then this turn was horrible! <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I'm going to look up some stats, and then I'm also going to use another 30 feet to hide. Really ineffective. Coin was so happy. <laughs> Three. Sorry, uh, buddy. Six. No, no, no. That's Them's the rules, and you got to know the rules so you can play the game. Uh, I'm hiding again, and okay. um, bonus action. Don't. That wasn't a spell. That was a feet right that was a feat as an action okay great great great, great. so so i do have a bonus action and a reaction still yeah thank you all again for your patience and then it'll be flitz and henry okay um <clears throat> It's so much to juggle. Oh. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to look at Druck. Okay. And as a bonus action... Druck clambering onto Lenny. As a bonus action... Uh, I'm going to... In draconic to Druk, I'm going to say, bring it down, like <laughs> bring it down. Uh, which I'm going to use the bonus action uh, leadership. The bug uh, down. Oh, the leadership. Okay. Yeah. So, so now mechanically, uh, Druk, you have uh, plus uh, D4 
on your attacks and saving throws. Just so you know, leadership is a is a uh, Con? is a reaction. Oh, is a reaction. Yeah. So when whenever a non-hostile creature oh. that you can see within thirty feet makes an attack or saving throw, you add they can add a D four to its roll, provided it can hear and understand you. Yeah. So if you haven't used your reaction, you'll get your reaction back right when you finish this turn. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out. Yeah. I'm trying to. Okay. Thank you. I'm gonna do some more. I was trying to. You need the reaction see at the start what... of your turn. Yeah. Oh, it's at the start of your turn. Okay. Never yeah. mind. Draconic imbuement. I was trying to figure out what that was. With it imbues your weapon with your dragon's innate like ability. So for you, your dragon imbuement would. Uh... Yeah, you're. You know. Is it extra cold damage or paralyzing or? So bonus action is what imbues your weapon. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So. It would be dueling an additional 2d6 cold damage and okay, would yeah, deal great. paralysis on a hit, but you found out this thing's immune to uh, paralyzed condition. Right, so I am still going to cast the imbuement on my weapon, okay. and I am still going to use my reaction to leadership my dude. Okay, to, cool. To give him an extra 1d4. Thank right. you. Sorry that was long, no worries. thank you all for your patience. There's a lot of finicky feet stuff I gave you. Uh, and yeah, so mark off your draconic imbuement. You get one of those per long rest. Boom. Both of them marked off. And now your sword uh, is coated in a silver sheen. Mm -hmm. Your platinum sword now has a silver sheen to it. Um, <laughs> legendary action, because I got those back. Mm. I can't I can't swallow an ancient dragon. Mm. As cool as that would be. Mm -hmm. I think we can all agree there. Yeah, that's <laughs> I think swallow it, chunks. I think it's just gonna bite the dragon again as legendary action. Okay. It's not. It's not gonna go for the little ankle biter it's got. It's not gonna try to no. do it. No. No. <laughs> All right. Cool. But if you want acid damage, <laughs> it hasn't hit me yet. <laughs> it's uh, literally smacked me twenty feet with 30, its tail and nothing. Thirty-four to hit. Thirty-four just hits. Don't don't forget your contracts. Yep. See if you're blinded. Uh, Dragon Henry, or yeah, Dragon Henry takes from the bitey bite thirty-five piercing damage. Okay. And you're already being grappled by its mouth, so it just bites harder. Mm -hmm. And I need a concentration check. And it was thirty-five damage, so that'll be seventeen. 17. Uh, it's 30. Wow. All right, that'll bring us to Flit. And does it, is it, did it pass the DC 30? Is, what's the, I guess I can't ask. Uh, question. 2 plus 10. 12. It's, it's blinded! Uh, what's the DC? 13! Oh, okay, yeah. Henry, you see the milky eyes get a little milkier. So milky! <laughs> But Henry, it still looks like it can see you, it sense you with it, it's perceiving you without issue, obviously because it's still like biting into you. Mm -hmm. That's that's a fun little thing. Tracks are cool, guys. That's gonna bring us to Flitz, <laughs> who is gonna peek out more Eldritch blasts because they got the range and they don't want to get close. And all their other spells. Oh, they do have other spells to get within reach. But Eldritch Blast is the best damage dealing one. So first one goes for 26. Somebody roll me a d6 as the Eldritch Blast slams into the trask. Brittany, you do it. D6, please. Two. Two. The Eldritch Blast just fizzles out when it hits the carapace of the elder of the trask. <laughs> so it's just like, okay, don't think these are working. I already shot two more off though. Natural one. <laughs> no. uh, oh, buddy he's like yeah well I think my patron's mad at me 18 to hit nope is he just lighting bottle rockets at this yeah thing? basically <laughs> oh, buddy. and Flitz will go like this I'm just gonna fly around the side and get completely out of sight um, Henry Lofferton Esquire Dragon time. 
Dragon at law. Dragon <laughs> bees nuts. Oh. Hey. Oh. Hey. Yes. Got him. You want to prove? What are you doing with those nuts? Uh, I'm gonna spend my five feet of movement to just just yep. slip out of the grapple there. Yeah, as you like um, slip out of the grapple, some of the teeth are like still stuck in the neck. You just because it's so sickly, just those teeth just pop right out. They glide right out, actually. Oh, and wow. then like with dentures. my long oh. neck, I'm yeah. gonna. Henry's gonna like kind of get down, like arches back, kind of like an angry cat. Hell yeah! In a way, so like head down low. Yep. Uh, and as he does, he looks up at the Tarask. I'm gonna need to make me a DC 21 dexterity saving throw as I shoot a line of fire breath up at it. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Wait, what? Dexterity saving throw? Let's yeah. go. Five. All right, so it takes the full 16 D6 <sighs> fire damage. I think we're going to do legendary Hell resistance on yeah. that one. It's still going to take half damage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, four, fifty, sixteen. 12, 30, 40, legendary resistance. It's... Time to cover my screen in D6s. Let's do it. Boom! <laughs> All right, still still rolling. Still working on it. Yep. There we go. Okay, 60, so six, half of 60 is 30 fire damage. Nice. It takes fifth. It takes none because it is immune to fire damage. Ah, oh, damn oh. it! So I don't know why I burned legendary resistance on that. Well, yeah. I forgot. Oh <laughs> yeah, well, I'll take it. All right. Well, that's about it. Though I'm gonna be I'm gonna be Henry soon before too long because I have like 66 hit points left did as I, a dragon. Oh, did I use no. the wrong? Hold on. Did I use the wrong stat block? Because it doesn't seem like Tarash should be immune to fire. Oh, they are. Okay. Cool. Weird. I mean. Sure. With armor like that, I mean, oh, fair enough. Probably not likely to catch. All right. So, anything else, Dragon Henry? Nope. That's it. Uh, end of your turn. Roll your D six to recharge your fire breath. Oh yeah. Six. Recharge. Breathe on your. Uh, breathe it on the others. Put them out of their misery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe something else will come through the rift. Lenny. <laughs> Lenny with Druk on Lenny's back. All right. Okay. Now Druk's turn is when? Top of combat. Uh, lost. So it it'll be it'll be uh, it'll two, be two turns. Eclipse. Yeah. Eclipse will be next, and then me. I think. Yeah. That's how it goes. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. And you said uh, physical attacks don't hurt this thing? Uh, unless they're magical. Hmm. Alright, so then <clears throat> Lenny's just going to climb up the pillar. Okay. Kind of fly oh, okay. up, but like scraping up to get nice. like, a really high up advantage. Yeah, the pillars are about like 80 feet tall. So yeah, so he's going to climb, he's going to climb, climb, fly up. Okay. 60 feet to give drug like and still okay cool. have most of his body behind the pillar maybe okay cool out. <laughs> All right. fucking awesome uh Thank you. cool that'll bring us to eclipse but i think before any of that happens the trask is gonna make a legendary action uh claw attack because it used the chomp before Chompity going chomp for chomp. that dragon and he broke out of the grapple, so it's, you're not restrained anymore. Mm -hmm. 24. To hit. Yeah. Unless it has disadvantage. Uh, I think it's straight. It has blind sense. Oh, yeah. So blindness doesn't, think, unfortunately, affect it too much. Uh, 29 slashing damage. Okay, 29. It would still be a disadvantage because of hero or holy aura. Yeah. Like any, any attacks? Let's see. Oh yeah, it was eleven plus nineteen to hit, so twenty-three. No. I mean, it's still. Yeah, we're, I'm just. I'm just hoping for one. Yeah. One once. Yeah. 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 Um. Yeah. Did I say? Did I roll damage? Yeah. It was twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. So I need a juicy. 
a very juicy con save. 27. Oh, unfortunately. I needed it to be a little higher for fun. Alright, <laughs> you're still a dragon. Eclipse! Yeah, not for long. I've got... Uh, dragon is currently at 37 hit points. Could be worse. Could have been attacking everybody oh, else. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Could be better. Could be attacking Eclipse. I'm curious. What happens if you get disintegrated in another form? Um, okay. Uh, you know what? I'm going to... Stab it again with Moon Sliver. Let's go. Oh, do I want to see if I roll a crit on that? Ugh. Yeah, I'm going to use my advantage from thing. Silvery barbs. <laughs> nice. Okay, I'm using all my shit. Sorry, I screamed. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's so fine. It didn't, it, didn't pick, it didn't pick it up at all. Yeah, honestly, yeah. Zoom, Zoom like rotted oh, it. Oh, it peaked. It. Great. Yeah. Sometimes. Great. Love yeah. that. Love that. Sometimes. Okay. Uh, so, in addition, I'm going to use my um, distracting strike. Uh, which is an additional d6, and also I'm going to use um, one of my Bardic uh, College of Swords thing features um, and do uh, Blade Flourish, um, uh, Defensive Flourish, so that it okay. can add another d6 to the damage. Okay. Uh, they so put, rolling sneak attack first. They put dis they did Errata to disintegrate, because previously if... Your polymorph, and you drop to zero, you would disintegrate, and that'd be it. Mm. But they changed that with Arata, so that is yeah. not the case anymore. Mm. Good to know. So if you're orc, yeah. you can resist disintegrating with relentless endurance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oof. Twenty. That's why half orcs are the best. Thirty-two. Times two. This is just sneak attack. Thirty-six times two. <laughs> uh, is... how do I multiply? Seventy-two. Uh, se thank you. Seventy-two, and then two more d6 and my d8 from the weapon. I don't know how I got that. Hell yeah. Nailed it. Yeah, um, good. that good is D and D. Two. Eight times two is another sixteen. Is eight. So seventy-two plus sixteen. Plus. Eight for the bonus. All right. Six. You're currently at ninety-six. Uh, ninety-six slashing damage. This thing's looking real hurt after that. As you step, you're stabbing into its ankles. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You sever um, an artery in the ankle. I don't think there's one yep. in the ankle, but you sever yeah. one. Yeah. Well, anyway. it has it has like those, you know, uh, its legs kind of like bend oh, right, like yeah. this, right? So the, you know, um, jump up and hit like the shoulder joint or like the upper thigh. Uh, and so my AC becomes 21, which isn't going to matter much, but it also has disadvantage on all attacks against creatures that aren't me um, for the next round. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, because of my distracting strike. <clears throat> yeah. Let me read that again. Correct. Uh, where is That's it? A, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so all attacks not against me are at disadvantage. Okay. For the next round um my ac is plus two mm -hmm. um then because i didn't use my bonus action to move i'm gonna use my bonus action uh short sort of life stealing from underneath him go for it um that is a dirty 20 to hit that misses okay so right off the armor plating no, yeah. it drops a worm on you. Yeah. A worm just falls up its butt and gets skewered on your sword instead. But they oh. don't have any hit points, so you don't get any life from that. Yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Love it. Um... So now you just have a worm skewered on... A human-sized worm skewered on the end of your sword. Yeah, that, yeah, that was my uh, second bonus action attack. So, uh, you know what? I'm, I'm you you killed something. You killed something. You killed a worm. I killed something. Uh, Add it to the kill tally. Oh, I'm not counting beneath the tide characters on the kill tally. Uh, <laughs> Druck. Human-sized worm dibs that band name. Yeah. Uh, that's a good band <laughs> name. So is Cement, dude. Nice. But, uh... uh so, uh... I have 17 charges of this thing. I'm going to use one of those 
uh, to steady aim a laser pistol this thing. Mm. Yeah, go for it. Since Coin told us that uh, last session that this thing would be weak to radiant damage. Yes, with Coin's little prayer. Mm hmm. Oh, fuck. No, nope, didn't hit. 20, unfortunately, does miss. No, yeah. dude, you, I gave you the leadership. Oh, oh right. Yeah. So add a d4 Four to d4. that. A d4. Come on. Oh, 21. Misses. <laughs> oh. <Yeah. clears throat> All right, take another take another thing off of that. <gasps> I'm out here the, for you, my the, guy. The downsides of being a rogue, you only get one attack. If that yeah. doesn't go down, you got nothing. All right. Unless you spec towards, you any, know, any, other stuff. Anything else? Uh, nope, I'm just, uh, I, I used my, that used everything. Okay. Steady aimed. So. Um, that'll bring us to Yvonne. My turns go quick. <laughs> Same. Rogues do have quick turns. Couple of rogues. Just a couple of rogues hanging out, being bros. Rogues. Brogues. Couple of dudes Scottish, being bros. Scottish brogues. <laughs> What's Yvonne doing? Uh, uh, for okay, bonus action. We still have that spiritual weapon, and we just get to go poke, 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 poke. Poke, poke, poke. Poking with a whip? Or oh, whatever. You know, you know what? Who cares, right? I, it works. You know what? It's hard enough. You can poke with the the the, 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 the whippy end. You know, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Um. Yeah, this thing probably wants to die anyway. It's got worms falling out of its butthole and cloaca, so. Like, that, big uh, mood. That, uh... <laughs> that 15 force damage. What'd you roll to hit? Oh, I'm dumb. Excuse me. Uh, never mind. You just oh, see yeah, it go. Hit. But it, uh, <clears throat> it's trying to hit it, but, you know, a little miss, uh, miss whip there. I, that I, woman I, is I, obsessed with me. You can splatter one of the, you can splatter one of the butthole worms that falls out. You know what? That works. You know cool. what? Just hear the... Anything else? Can I... No. I don't think I can get that far. Probably not. Even with 40 feet. No. Nope. Because that would be uh, so good. You can do it. 30, 35, 40. No, I can't do that because I can't be that close. But, uh. Okay. But what I will do is move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 4. I'm going to move over that way. Okay. Cool. And because my spiritual weapon was a bonus action, I can still cast a spell as an action. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So if I heal um, Henry, he still keeps up. Can I heal him in his wild shape? You, Not you, wild shape, you but any, you know you what I You can heal any mean. creature. Mm -hmm. Just so I can prolong this uh, Kaizo fight going on yeah, you here. You can heal any creature. Uh, let's see. Let's heal the Trask. <laughs> Introduce. What could you imagine? In previous editions, I think that would have damaged it. <laughs> oh. Uh, Henry, you are getting. What's, what? What? What do you cast in first? Uh, I am going to. Oh frick! What is it? Not healing words. Uh. Motherfucker, I don't need to be a lot of people though. Fucking, um, I can't okay, brain. Um, healing word. No, that's a bonus action. Fuck me. Just fuck me. I want to heal you, but there's you cure wounds. I have to do that. Healing touch. Word cure wounds is touch. And I don't have heal. You know what? I I still think it's worth it at the end of the day. So, um... What's this near me? But 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30... 30, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30
It's ten feet too far. You're ten feet too far. I apologize. So yeah, uh, I guess that that's all I can do right now. Alrighty. Sorry, so, since this thing repaired or regained its beam ability, it's gonna do some shifting around here. And it's gonna position itself in a way so Henry will get an attack of opportunity. Oh, I'm taking that. As it's <laughs> gonna go like this. So go for it. Alright. That is gonna be let's see. It's gonna be the bite. Oh, are your attacks magical? Uh good question. Are a dragon's attack? It'll say uh, hmm. in the creature stat block it'll say their attacks are magical. It'll say magical yeah. attacks if their attacks are magical. I'm looking I'm looking. Under uh it'll be under their special features. If it's so if it doesn't say it's then your attacks are not magical. Are a dragon's attacks not mad? Can a dragon not hurt it to hurt this thing? That is ridiculous. <laughs> what? Yeah. I if a creature, if a, creature if a creature's attacks are magical, it can hurt the Tarrasque. If they're not, they cannot hurt the Tarrasque. Uh. Your attacks have to be magical to hurt the creature. And it'll say in a creature's stat blocks if their attacks are magical. So, for example, clay golem, magic weapons. The golem's weapon attacks are magical. Right. Yeah. It's not on there. Never mind. So I don't even bother. Yay. <laughs> And the tail attack doesn't knock it prone, so. So. It's gonna Hide you, <laughs> It's going <laughs> to position itself in a way. Calamity beam. <laughs> and I need Dragon Henry and Eclipse to make dexterity saving throws. And those dex saves are at advantage. Mm-hmm. Reminding you. Oh, uh, sorry. Henry's is. Oh, no. And, and Yvonne's. I got her in the thing. She was within the 30-foot radius. Six decks, okay. Yes. Twenty-five. Twenty-five yeah. does succeed. So you'll half the damage. Good. Also twenty-five. So half the damage. You take Eclipse doesn't take any. Because of rogue. And you're high enough level rogue where you do have evasion. Mm-hmm. Because you multi class, but you still got it. So oh. Dragon is gonna take half of this. And I'll give you the halved amount to make everything okay. simpler. Once my 28d6 stop rolling. Oh, God. It's, it has these, the damage is the exact same as the ancient red dragon. Uh, so, uh, Henry Dragon takes 59 force damage. 59. That's yeah. halved? <laughs> That's halved. It was 118. Ooh, okay, let's see. I'm, uh, let's see how much I'm Henry by. Oh my god. So, oh that was my god. 37. So it was 50, 59 minus 37. So Henry ta Henry himself takes 22 points of that damage. Alright, so Lord. the dragon form disintegrates away to old man Henry. Mm -hmm. It's like it's peeled off of him. <laughs> Henry is covered in dragon dust. Oh, and we're all last up. In dragon dust. <laughs> um. Yeah. The spines on the neck continue to glow because it recharged it. Coin harding. Ah. Oh! Oh. It is coin's turn now. A fucking fantastic time. Time to. It is time to put away childish things. Uh, that beam so, is fun. Uh, coin remembering that he has an extra ten feet of movement, um, is going to start with a skip and then run. Oh, and a portion of his skeleton here would five. also be disintegrated now. Oh, and he's he's fucking with Bahamut's corpse again. One hundred fifty foot lines. So yeah, that, that he, he disintegrated like a good portion of that skeleton. So then, uh... Feel the anger, Coin. Coin is going to... Feel the rhythm. To... Feel the rhyme. <laughs> Let's get on up. Now. Feel the vibration. Vulnerable it's to... It's vu and, it's, and it's also oh, vulnerable... Oh, there it is. It's vulnerable it's to radiant damage. Vulnerable no, to so radiant he's gonna... There's, 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 gonna there's, yeah, there's, yeah, there's that... Uh, there's the <laughs> piles of rubble around, and he's going to fucking parkour his way Hell up yeah. the rubble. Oh, yeah. And right use, up this thing. Yeah, use a little bit of... Uh, wing speed to just 
slam right into his throat. Make and... an attack roll. Yeah, just go. Yeah. Um. Please, uh, please, oh, please, oh, please. All right. You do have advantage because it's blinded. Uh -huh. Um, but it has blind sight, so it can still. Oh, actually, hold on. It can still see with blind sight, but because it still has the blinded condition, the attacks on it are still at advantage. Oh. Because it doesn't say it's. It makes it immune to the blind sight. Doesn't mention anything about you being. Uh, you mean I could have been attacking with advantage this whole time since it got blinded? Probably. I just looked at it. <clears throat> the past campaign characters have killed enough of these Rift Guardians. <laughs> Listen, this is this is frustrating. This is frustrating. His coin definitely did not hit. It was 18. I miss it. You got more attacks, though. This is one of the first times this whole goddamn campaign I have hit. I have not hit. Yeah, that thing's got. You have you have a lot to hit with that sword. I do. You're, All right. You're taking down a creature, a titan of infamy, as I mentioned. Uh. Also advantage next attack. Mm -hmm. Yes, but I'm also going to uh, use uh, my bonus action to cast oh, uh, vow, it, vow. I'm sorry. It'd be advantage anyway because Eclipse is still within five feet, so pack tactics. Oh. Okay. I'll wait then. I'll wait for that thing. Um, or yeah, let's just let's fucking roll. Come on. Second attack, so you're like leaping through the air. First yeah. attack uh, sl slides off of one of the armored scales. Slides off. I flip the sword around to go back because I'm holding on to its throat to slam it backwards into its throat. This tiny two and a half, two and something foot guy just attacking, two hanging eight, off a Tarrasque. Two eight and three quarters, eight, knocking three quarters. on two nine. <laughs> Compared to a Tarrasque, you're like... I a speck. You're just like Wah! I am the it's silver great. pinky. You are uh, twenty four. Twenty four hits. You do know it's vulnerable to radiant damage. Are you smi are you smiting? Oh, uh, there's there's no question. There's no goddamn question. Uh, so I'm going to do the roll of the damage, and I'm going to use a fourth level. Ah, max damage on my sword, so that's 18. Plus, I'm rolling, what, 2 6 of cold damage, you said? Uh, so, yeah, 2d6 cold. For the silver blade? Okay, so, so 2d6 of cold damage. 2d6 cold. And, and then, I'm using a level 4. Yeah, so roll your, divine, roll your divine smite damage as is, and then just times it by 2. So, whatever you're like, so your level 4 divine, your fourth level divine smite dice, roll those. Okay. Because it's vulnerable, you just multiply them by 2. Okay. So, it's like you're critting, basically. So four sm uh, on a fourth level is it five d eight or or is it four d? It's five d eight, right? Because it's two. So level one is two d eight. Level two is three d eight. Level three is four d eight. Level five is level four is five d eight. Uh, Am I cross-eyed yet? I do feel cross-eyed. There's been a lot of stuff going on. Sorry, thank you. Uh, level combat. Uh, it maxes out at five d eight unless you're fighting fiends. It's 2d8 at first level, 3d8 at second. So yeah, 5d8. I think 5d8 is the right math. Yeah, Thank it's you. an extra Sorry. d8 against because like, you're not undead. Yeah, because but yeah, because you're yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. This Scott. thing's eyes were pretty milky white. Is it undead? No. It's so okay. milky. <laughs> okay, so here's this. So here's all this. So you still give me that cold, the 2d6 cold. That's 10 cold. Okay, and then roll your. Whatever, Divine Smite, uh, and then double it so, by two. So 35 uh, is what I rolled, so that would be 70. So 10 cold, 70 after the 18. Mm -hmm. uh, How so do you want to do this? Hey! Coin killed so, the Tarrasque. So then Coin, yeah, ah! jumping up, uh, seeing, like, yeah, he's going to hop from yes! rubbish things as he's going grabs into it, misses with the first, pulls it around, like, stabs into the back, grabs it back, out, goes, stabs into the front, and is holding on to one of the blue crystals that keeps charging and just keeps stabbing in and indiscriminately pulling out blue crystals to try and stop the next breath weapon that he sees and just starts, keeps cool. uh, chiseling so, and ripping. Um, all these as you're hanging off its neck and stabbing into these, like, neck armored spikes in its neck, 
you pierce it in a weak spot and you pierce the spot where all this energy is stored and you rupture it and the head just explodes it just wait before it explodes can it say I will never financially recover from this of course and then <laughs> its head explodes <laughs> God damn! The Trask is killed by one coin harding. If this was 3rd edition, the Trask would not be dead. It would still be regenerating. And you'd have to cast a wish spell to actually kill it. Coin yeah, harding, 3.5 Trask was no joke. But granted, characters in 3.5 yeah. were also you no have joke. To get them, like, you have to like deal damage. Then you have to dealing damage to their negative hit points. And then cast a wish spell to kill it. Because mm -hmm. it just mm -hmm. keeps coming. Uh, so it's oh, dead. No, no, sorry. Sorry, slight correction, Justin. Coming. You don't uh you don't wish it dead. You wish it away. That's true. It's it's once it is at, once it is at negative hit points, that is the point at which wish can move it somewhere else where it's no longer a problem. So the Tarask is dead. I accidentally mm -hmm. closed the encounter, but thankfully D D Beyond saves encounters. Yeah. Um because I got excited. Mm hmm At coin killing a Tarask. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> still, even even though it was sick and gross, it was still it's they're still nasty, nasty little things. Mm -hmm. That leaves in three insight checks in this combat to close the rift. Coin, mm -hmm. your action was to kill the Tarask. As an action, um. insight check action to close the rift. You have to be within five feet of a rift to close it. Uh, so I don't have an action. Nope. Um, but I do have. Uh, oh, I guess that's attack, not a. It's a. Uh, it's not a saving throw for that insight. Okay, nope. so the leadership, that leadership bonus, it does nothing. <laughs> uh, so coin is going to. Uh, where? Oh, it just closed. Oh no, there we go. Um, coin is going to. It's going to wait near the rift for anyone who is making an attempt to possibly aid them and say, yeah, you can do it. You can close the All rift. Right. Uh, as you get close to the rift, mm -hmm. uh, you see a familiar looking mind flare in like a sun hat and wizard robes on the other side, also closing a rift somewhere in the world. You see Thranazart, uh, but his arms are now covered in eyes. Like like sleeve oh, tat like sleeve tattoos, um, with a collection of mind flayers battling it out deep in the lower dark, of Dragon's Beard, where the other one of the other rifts is that you guys know about, fighting a type of elder brain dragon that is spewing a breath weapon fill of illithid tadpoles that turns people into mind flayers, oh, but they're already mind flayers, <laughs> and they're fighting at that rift, and then you see that, uh then that kind of just fades and you're looking back through the rift you're seeing through normally um, you see another uh, group of adventurers is the best way to describe them uh, also tackling one of these rifts you see Ofuk with an eye on his forehead uh, and a collection of faithful priests of Bahamut and whatnot. Uh, tackling this rift in what looks like an underground zombie infested city and they're fighting a gargantuan worm made of rock and primordial lava and then that vision fades and you're looking back through this normal rift coin so you get a sense that there are now others tackling the remaining rifts around the globe and not just leaving it to y'all cause shit it may, I don't know, I'll let you have your own insight onto why that might be happening it looks like maybe the common folk are getting a little bit of taste of the knowledge. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's, I think that's your turn. Coin? You just seeing uh, that? Yeah, that's, that's all I got. Uh, right Fletch will have a will have a eighty foot fly speed right now because of the freedom of movement. So. 20, 30, 30, Well, because of with dashing. 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. Flitz will also get up close. And nice. also uh, try to close one if they can. Um, Flitz will say, 
Uh, guys, I'm seeing some people. Anyone recognize these people? I see a jungle. And he, uh, Flit starts to describe Cold Claw Isle, your your home where you're from, Eclipse. Um, he's describing the heart of a graveyard filled with dinosaur bones. Uh, I see a 60 or so year old hairless tabaxi. So he's describing monkfish. Uh, he's got Ugh. eyes all around his neck. Um, he's with a really old looking black kobold wielding a blunderbuss. So he's describing Malon Grass Bladle. My one. Malon is like elderly, elderly. My one. <laughs> oh, uh, my still... one. My one's still hanging in there. Barely. <laughs> Uh, and a bunch of other pirates. They're fighting... I don't know how to describe it. The words that are coming to me are cosmic horror. And that'll be... Uh, Flitz's turn. Bring us to... Old Man Henry. Ah, uh, well, um... You hear the description of Monkfish and... Some others that you're familiar with. Well, Monkfish and... Malon. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Um, well, because we know that things can still come through these. After you've been effect, told, right? but the last rift you closed, that never happened. But you've okay. been told that it happened before. Gotcha. Okay. Then, in that case, uh, what Henry's going to do is he is going to stand by and prepare Force Cage. Cool. Uh, to cast it on anything that comes through. That's smart. That's a good one. Uh, that's gonna bring us to Lenny. What's Lenny doing, Caleb? So... Get this to the portal. Yeah, so... Yeah, Lenny is going to move... Where, 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 where? There we go, that's one. Just look for uh, Falcor. Five. I love that you made that, Justin. <laughs> That's all I can think yeah, of. So... Perfect. So he'll go there. And he's going to just. <laughs> Are you still like 60 feet in the air? Uh, I had lowered down to about uh, 30. Okay. Like, I like a gradual decline. That'll bring That's us cool. That'll bring us to Eclipse. So you recognize the people that Fliss described, but then looking through the rift, it's just what you guys are seeing through your rift. Just gross eyeballs floating I in do. the sky. Or in the void. Okay. No creatures uh, coming. This looks like there's a bunch of eyeballs like they're watching you kind of deal. Like, you get this heavy feeling that you're now being very much observed. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna make sure my gun is loaded. Hell yeah. Um, Shoot and the rift. Hold an action to cast gun into the rift. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Do it. I cast gun prepared to meet All God. Right. Cool. Uh, that'll be Druk then. Yeah, Druk's gonna hop off, glide down with his wings, uh, and try to do close attempt to do uh, you know, yep. uh, make this rift a bit smaller. Insight check. Plus the number of wow. eyes you have. But you have four. So, uh, 24. So plus four. Plus four, 28. All right. It gets smaller. I need some help here. All right. That'll bring us to Yvonne. You can do it. I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, then I'll use my... You also reaction. would remember... Oh, wait. Was that group part of that conversation? I don't remember... Someone, one, one of the groups was told that uh, they saw back in the day when people were joining Cathosis, they maxed out at five eyes. Yeah. I don't remember was if that said, was this group or the other group. You, there was a conversation with a, a sending spell, right. I think. Yeah, that would be regardless. that would have been relayed regardless to both groups. So yeah. know, uh, just because that would be not good information to withhold. Yeah. So yeah, what's Yvonne doing? So I moved the 40 feet because Druck gave me 10 extra feet from his yeah. thing. Then I used my action to dash the rest of the way and yeah. I buy slits and I'm just going to put a finger to his lips and go, you're a good boy. You can do this. And I'm going to cast guidance 
on him. I think I'm older than you. <laughs> so, add a D4. <laughs> I think I'm older than you, On your you, ability check. Yeah. Okay. Guidance. Anybody can be a boy. <laughs> Anybody can be a boy. Boy. Um, boy. Man, I just played Ragnarok so good. Anyways. Boy. Uh, boy. The game's so boy. good. Uh, all right. Boy. Boy. Um... <laughs> Looking over at the Tarask. Boy, making, sure making sure it's not regenerating. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, coin. Uh, so, coin, coin is going to uh, uh, stride over and stand right next to Druck. Yep. And uh, give Lenny a couple scritches and try and close the rift. <laughs> All right, that'll get, give me a good old insight check. And on your total, add one, because you have one eye. Fourteen teen? Fourteen teen. Coin. Doesn't wow. work out so well. Okay. You get a spike of pain in your big old, not your big head. I don't know what I was saying, big head. You get a spike of pain in your kobold head. Your noggin. You take 17 psychic damage, but I believe you are resistant. I am. So you take 8 psychic damage. Uh, a little bit of blood trickles out of your nose, but that was your action to do that. Nothing looks like it's coming out of the rift. It, it's like the void is empty-ish in a way. Like, usually you'll see things that come flying towards the rift. You're just watching a bunch of eyes in the void just staring. Uh, Flitz will do an insight check now. With a flat zero. Plus Roll one. Roll that d4. Plus one. Five. <laughs> with guidance. <laughs> Wait, no. I think my math is wrong. Four plus one. Yep, five. Was it Wait, Flitz... Oh, okay. Oh, you're saying, like, Flitz has... Plus zero to what? insight. How? They rolled a three, plus oh. one on guidance, plus one for how many Come eyes on, they buddy. have. Oh. Five. Come on, buddy. So Flitz takes... Uh, five, nine... Twelve psychic damage. Ow! That's rough. Henry. Uh, just in case Henry's gonna keep up that the force cage... Cast. Fair. Lenny doing anything? Uh, you know what? He's gonna make. Can he make an insight roll? He doesn't have any. Uh... Yeah, I was gonna say I don't. Plus, think he's a he phantom. A... Oh yeah, yeah. So. Of the upper voice. Anyways, mm. um. Well, he's just gonna be there and just give uh. Give like he's got. Okay. Like Scooby-Doo, Scooby-Doo, cool. like coin. Uh, I gotta roll something on my end. Excellent. I need Druck, Flitz, and Coin to make wisdom saves. It's the same kind of feeling you get when a rift is closed. Uh, so your saves are at advantage, still, and uh, it's plus one if you're within ten feet of me. Yep. All right. Oh well, there it is. That's a natural twenty. Okay. Um, nice. Um, plus one, so it's a total of twenty-seven. All right, you're fine. Uh, what drug get? Twenty-nine. You're fine. So none of the three of this group gets psychic <laughs> damage. Now, I need. I forget why I have proficiency in wisdom saves. A slippery mind, maybe. It? Uh. Oh. Yeah, it's a rogue feature. Uh. Now I need. Dax, Ricky, and Kenna to make wisdom saves. Because now you guys know what you're rolling for when a rift is closed. So, Dax, Kenna, Ricky. Um, natural 18 plus whatever Kenna's modifier yep. is, because I don't have my sheet up. Yeah, I got them all up. So just you just you guys need to roll the flat 20s yeah. and we'll be good. 18. Okay. Regular 18. Okay. And then is it, uh, for clarity's sake, I, I'm, I'm following it, and you're doing so much. Is it Dax or Yvonne? It's that needs to Dax. Rise? Dax, Ricky, Kenna. Cool. 
Thank you. Sorry. So, uh, I was I was confused. So just for, for <laughs> just Brittany, just roll me a d twenty. Don't add anything to it. Okay. So Dax got a twenty one. Ricky got a twenty eight. <laughs> no, no. Uh, Ricky got an eighteen. Oh, you were, you were on a sheet already? Okay. And then Ken, I got an yep. 18 plus. All right. So none of the party gets psychic damage from that rift closing. The other one Oof. closing. Cool. Oof. But there are multiple closing at once right now. Possibly. Oh, yeah. So, that's right. Uh, cool. Eclipse, what are you doing? Um, I am going to give Coin the help action mm -hmm. to close this. And I'm okay. going to bonus action Inspire Flitz. Okay. Um, what does your inspiration sound like? Um. Woo -woo. <laughs> uh. All right, Flitz. You know, I see you struggling with this. Oh. Just a little bit. And I want you to know that you can do it because the world literally depends on it. That's Come on, boy. Not helping. I'm 79. <laughs> well, technically, I'm 69, but we can counter this magic that aged me 10 years. So, 69. Not so nice. Nice. <laughs> Not so nice. And anymore. I just say nice. <laughs> All right, uh, Druk. Nice. Uh, he. We're at one of three, Correct. so he's gonna try and <clears throat> close this again. Let's go. Insight check plus four plus whatever your insight bonuses are. Ooh. Ooh. Not one. So 15 plus 4, 19. Are you proficient in insight checks, though? Oh, yeah, yeah. So that Reliable that's talent. actually... Yeah, thank you. That It's actually 24. 24. I'm, so you succeed by 4. Uh, yeah, because I have cool. reliable talent. There you go. It's 24. It's always 24 Rogue. or higher. <laughs> Eclipse right. should have shot a drug. Reliable Brogues. talent. Brogues. Yeah, it's an yeah. ability check. Um, all righty. <laughs> so it gets a little smaller. Anything else, Druk? Uh, no, no. All right, Avon, he's, you... he's just like, please, Avon, someone. Avon, doing anything? Is Coin still like flying, or is he on the ground now? On the ground. Uh, just gonna. Ta you, she sees you're a man of your god. She doesn't want to freak you out too much now, so she's just gonna very gently put a hand on your. Helmet and just melted. Do this for Bahamut. Hit them hard. I just guidance. Okay. Add that D4 to that roll, baby. All right, that'll bring us to Coin Harding. So I've got health and guidance. So advantage plus a D4 on your insight check plus one because of how many eyes you got. All right. You got a lot of things stacked in there. Come on, bro. Hold Come on, on. Hold Close on. that rift. Close, Close that, that rift. rift. Get an eye. Get an eye. Are you shitting me? Oh. Oh. That's two crits. I rolled two 20s. That's what you want. No. <laughs> I mean, I want them in battle. Uh, but yeah, great. We've nailed it. So. And then I <clears> don't <throat> even need to roll the guidance or anything. So no, it's... you don't. So. Oh, and then plus one. Coin. So. Natural you job. feel an itching, tickling sensation as the rift closes. Name me a part of your body that springs to your mind first where you'll gain your second eye. Uvula. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's a weird place to have an eye come up. Uh, okay. Uh, cool. Coin. Pick me an ability score that automatically is reduced by two. Oh. 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 Ability score. Yep. Pick one. Do you want to get tanked by two? What's an ability score? Oh. Uh... What's an ability score? Uh... <laughs> intelligence. He's into cleaner. Intelligence. Your intelligence is now eight. Um, so, you now have advantage on sight. You already had that ability. First two abilities. You have 120 feet of dark vision if you don't already have it, which you did. Uh... And with this form of dark vision, now that you have this new dark vision you have, you can see color in darkness. Normally you can't see shades of color in darkness with dark vision, but this new eye gives you the ability to do that. 
and you are now immune to the blinded condition. So the rift closes, and I need Kenna, Ricky, and uh, who's the other one? Dex! Just flat d20s again, and I'll tell you what you got. Or I'll help you out. Um, 19 total for Kenna. Okay. 21 total for Ricky. Ricky's having a good day wherever he is. <clears throat> for Dex. What for Dex? 13. Plus your wisdom. Plus my eye. Oh, no, no that is with nah, my wisdom. Not. 13. So. All right. I'll keep a note of that. Because that damage isn't going to be reflected yet. And I'm resistant to psychic. Yeah, you're not going to take that damage yet anyway, because that group is still two hours behind. Oh, no. But. Middle of battle, gets like 30,000 points of damage. <laughs> oh, yeah. 30,000. <laughs> yeah, well, just like 13 points of damage. You're like, oh, I'm feeling so good. Good. So, the rift closes. <laughs> Existential crisis. Druck immediately falls to his knees and, like, looks over at Coin and hugs him. <laughs> Coin doing an assessment. He doesn't have any damage on him. I can't heal him. Uh, not the damage he was scared about. <laughs> uh, the Trask is not regenerating. Good. Uh, but the rift is closed. Some of you saw others closing rifts around the globe. Well, you also would have seen, you actually would have seen the other group, because they might, who knows? Maybe you saw the other group, maybe not. Depends how quickly they get to that rift. They probably won't be there in two hours, um, based on where they ended up. But, you all close the rift. The Trask is dead. This temple is still a little desecrated because of the beam breaths. But uh, we're going to go to break right there. It'll be a hot, quick break because we're at like two and a half hours. So see you all back here shortly. Bye-bye.
Welcome back, everybody. So, as the rift closes, you all have some time to collect your thoughts after getting just slammed by a barrage of a couple of psychic blasts. Anything you guys do in the couple minutes you got? In a couple minutes, Coin would probably walk over and start saying a prayer and collecting the pieces of the crushed Bahamut skull. Okay. Um, Grok will relax his like <clears throat> grasp on him to let him let him go and just kind of kind of collapse onto the ground because he's just kind of like even though like he didn't like do too much in this last battle like the battle for him was closing the rift uh yeah. and he is like there is so much on the line for him right there because of the knowledge that he has so he's just kind of like is just like exhausted from the tension of the moment yeah, no, this uh, coin would probably hand you off to Lenny. Yeah, Eclipse is going to come over and kind of, like, try to support Druk. Um, she's been in a similar position once before. Coin. Not, not as dire, but similar. Coin, as you pick up these fragmented pieces of the skull, mm -hmm. you feel a warmth in them. And, like a pretty substantial warmth in them. Not like, ah, uh, but like a nice soothing warmth. Hmm. And they seem to start mending on their own. Pick up a hand of dust that turns into part of like... A ribcage, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like part of a nose bone. Just like... Take a step back, sort of like push pieces together to help them yeah. along. And as you and help, sort of like stand and as you're like building a diorama. Um, mm -hmm. It's like the ending of Iron Giant. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Um, hopefully not the same ending. Uh, the um, the skeletal structure starts to rise up of its own volition, but it's not like oh god now I have to fight undead Bahamut. Uh, it rises up looks down at you doesn't speak because it can't uh, but it looks down at you and through this connection you feel you feel that something has been made whole I reach into the chest. Okay. Ow. Pull out the Bahamut stuffy yeah. that I have. Pull it out and then look inside at the sphere. The sphere is still fully intact, but as you look at the sphere, it turns to dust. And the skeleton looks at you one last time before brief, the briefest of moments you see the aspect of Bahamut in all his glory. Everybody else just sees a skeleton before he disappears. So yeah, the, before he disappears, yeah, you guys see Coin's hand on like a the tip of a skeletal nose. I can just reaching up as high as he can and just oh. yeah, just go gone. Just... Okay. That's uh it's uh it's good. That's good, right? It's good. It's good, it feels good. Seems good, uh seems good. It's, I, uh, I, yeah. I need everybody to make wisdom saving throws. Right. Well, everybody. <laughs> Sorry. I need the same 
Can you all the Faust, Faust and the Faust, Furious? Faust and the Furious characters, wisdom saves, please. Ooh, not good. So just make sure you have your Faust and the Furious character sheets up. Just and so. sixteen be, for Kenna. And be close to, be close to me. Uh, I think we've probably worn out that the minute right or the end of combat end of that minute. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 Thank you. Right, I'm just gonna go one by one. For Sorry. Requarian Deladra and his lemongrass cake. That one for an eleven. <laughs> so this is gonna seem really weird, but mm -hmm. you can mark off eleven psychic damage right now. Interesting. I am okay. giddy. Uh, Dax, mark off ten psychic damage from the one I made you roll previously. That was already halved for you, so it's ten. It would have been twenty. Uh, what did coin get? Ooh, fat nine. Uh, fourteen, but you're resistant, so seven. Uh, Kenna. Fifteen. Okay. Druck. Fifteen. Okay. Oh yeah, Flitz is here. Seventy-nine-year-old Flitz. Not so <laughs> nice. Uh. <laughs> Uh, 10. So Flitz takes 14 psychic damage. So Flitz is like, ah, my head. The, si the <laughs> standard like headaches, okay? Uh, uh, Brain freeze! Faust and the Furious. Uh, you feel like rifts. You feel four rifts. Actually. Four? Four rifts go off simultaneously. Oh, uh, so I need... I think he was involved, yes. Yeah, I need the Faust and the Furious. Wisdom saves again! The second oh. rift. Ooh, that's not gonna be good. N another 15 for Kenna. What? Okay. Uh, Ricky. 12. 14 psychic damage. What? Immediately? Yep. Okay. Coin. No. Shit balls. Give me one second. Sorry. Oh, okay. I will. The tab was so tiny it closed it. That's funny. So. Uh, Kenna, what about you? Uh, another 15. Actually, You're fine? Hold on. I've got it. I'll just do it here. Sorry. Uh, Druk? 12. 14 psychic damage. 24. Halved because I'm resistant to something? Yeah, so you take 7. Uh, seven. Coin doesn't take any dax. 13. Uh, 14 reduced to 7. Another surge <laughs> from another rift closing. Let's do it again. Come on, mm -hmm. motherfuckers, come on. Wisdom saves. Yeah. Everyone will plus ones, because I'm imagining those... Well, no. The people here are having plus ones, so not everybody. It'd be Druck yeah. and Flitz having plus Flitz, ones. Yeah. Yeah. Because we're, we're, like, we're, like, crawling to... As these yeah. headaches start, we're, like, crawling to coin. It's just, like... Yeah. Oh! <laughs> no, and Lenny's, Lenny's scooping people up and bringing them to Okay, cool. Uh, Ricky... Yeah. What a good old Ricky. 25! There we go. No psychic damage. You avoid that headache, wherever you are. Uh, coin. Coin? Alright, sorry. Thank you. Okay. 18 plus... You're fine. Six. Yeah, 7. Uh, so kinda. Good. Another 15. You're fine. Druck. 13. Uh, 13 psychic. Reduced right, to 6. So 7. 7. Or... No, yeah, 6. 6. Dax. Yeah, 20 for a 20 right. The final nice. surge. The final surge. <laughs> the barbarian finally. Gets the final it. headache surge. Wisdom saves again. Go. Faust and the Furious members. There we go. Table, I finally got mine back. Oof. Flitz got a fourteen, so Flitz fails by one. Twenty-four. Okay, Ricky's Ricky's good. Seventeen for coin. You're good. Uh, twenty-six for Kenna. Oh, of course you're good. Druck. Twenty-four. You're fine. Dex. And that one. Uh, eleven half to five. The dice give it, and the dice. So eleven half to five. Away. So, as these headaches just <laughs> just blast out in like it's like thunderclap headaches, just in quick succession. The world convulses. Like you felt earthquakes. This is the entirety of the earth. Con the earth. The world convulsing. The earth. The flat. The flat. flat the flat world convulses, and. <laughs> It's not flat. Uh, a mass... You want, then all of a sudden you hear like crunching noises as a massive... This is for the current characters. 
a, a massive tear rips through the surface of the planet, creating a chasm within this chamber and beyond. Almost as soon as this occurs, Druk, I'm going to take control of a Faust and the Furious character for a second. Yes. You hear Kenna's voice in your mind. Uh, Druk, uh, shit's yeah. weird. We landed in Silger. There's no stars. Sky's dark, and it's all eyes. Uh, the clocks in here are all making it seem like we lost track of time. Uh, like time sped up. It's something. Something weird's going on. Something bad is happening, and the message gets cut off. Not because they hit the word limit. There's a flash of brilliant, painful white light, and then nothing. And we'll get to, we'll continue that in a second. Oh, I'm so excited! You guys ever been excited before? Never. Oh. <laughs> I'm nervous. Twice. I'm I'm nervous. <laughs> excited. Is that the right background I need? Yes, that's not the one with Ven in it. Sad. Um. Or is it? Okay, is that everyone in the right spots? Again? Who's all? Who's who? Sound out, if you're alive. Hello? Coin. Okay, okay. so, there's a flash of brilliant, painful white light, and then nothing. As you slowly regain your senses, the Faust and the Furious, you all find yourselves surrounded by an ever-shifting expanse of colors that swirl and weave around you. Druk, Dax, Kenna, Coin, Ricky, all back in the same place. Oh. But there's nothing else colors swirl and weave around you in this endless expanse. Ogden and his team are nowhere to be seen. And it's the six of the original members of the... Well, not the original members, but it's the six members of the Faust and the Furious floating in this void space. Uh, for those of you who were in Ogden's group, when you teleported onto Silger, shit was bad. Uh, it was nighttime, which it shouldn't have been, and the clocks were all reading that you had missed two hours. So it would be 3 p.m. And looking out the windows, the sky was a void of nothingness, filled with eyes, just like all the star maps and people said when Cathosis and everything came to power again. That's for the Faust and the Furious members that were there. So yes, you're back to playing your Faust and the Furious characters, and you're floating in this endless expanse of just color. It's, there's, there's no gravities, so you're floating around. What do you all do? Ugh! <sighs> Do we recognize... No, no, I thought you were dead. Uh, yeah, we it got, was... We got cut off. You didn't get the end of my message. No. But, I mean, we're dead. I, mean, I thought you were dead. You didn't respond. That probably makes a little more sense now, but... Well, you're here with you. Uh, what now? What's going on? Good question. Mr. Fluffles is leaving pellets because he is scared shitless. Apparently not that shitless. <laughs> it stops <Shitful>. eventually. <laughs> uh, Caleb, you were asking a question? Sorry. Uh, yeah, no, I wanted to know um, what the, like, if we recognize the doll, because we've been to a place mm. where we, that we were like in an astral plane. And this is on. not recognizable. Okay, it's cool. just, the, the astral, astral sea is colors of purple and gray this is almost every color weaving around Flitz is just like uh can I sense the weave anywhere or or the weaver uh make me a religion check ooh or Arcana, I'm, actually. You can do Arcana for this. I'm not super smart. No, can... Yeah, you, you can do Arcana. It's, it's probably Arcana, because mm -hmm. it's the <laughs> deity of magic. Okay. <laughs> or, or religion. One of, out here? Either or. Arcana religion. <clears throat> I mean, if you're if she, if there's, if they are helping out with religion, then I suppose coin and probably... I have a plus 12 to Arcana, but only a plus 1 to religion, so... Maybe then go, are, go maybe, with magic. Maybe, maybe go Arcana. Alright, I'm gonna go with Arcana. No, I'm gonna use this die. 
16? Mm-hmm. Kind of all around. In like wavering forms of intensity? No, nope, just all no, around. Just equal? Yeah. We are the weave. We are the weave. Surprise! 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 No, no. Uh, so, yeah, you kind of you kind of get the sense that it's just lingering all around right now. Okay. Weaving around you. Uh-huh. Mm. Odd question. What does it smell like in here? Nothing. Anything? Nothing. Okay. Yourself. Yeah, you just smell yourself, basically. So whatever you smell like. <laughs> uh, Adventures. Think... Oh, stinky. <laughs> Flitz is gonna start prestigitating, but it, yeah. But um, anyone Guys, else? Guys, I think, I think we might be in the weave. Uh, do I see any eyes? No. In no. Well, wherever we are, at least there's no eye. Mm-mm. He looks at himself. You still have your eyes, but the eyes that you have on your body are erratic, looking around everywhere like they're in ecstasy. Oh. Like they're trying to pull themselves out of your body. They're so happy. So yeah, Coin's new one on the uvula. The uvula's like, yeah, constitution saving throw, because that's going to activate the gag reflex. Oh, yeah. boy. Oh, because yeah, Coin's new Come on, Coin. Well, mine's mine on my tongue, too. So yeah, so you do one as well. as well. Yeah, you do one as All well. Right. Con saving throw? Yeah, coin's gonna have disadvantage because it's the fucking uvula. Ooh, that's pretty good. What'd you get, Druk? 18. You don't throw up. <laughs> yeah, coin, you're gonna be at disadvantage because it's on the big old dangler. First one was 12, and, uh, and the second one is a 1, All natural right. 1 for a 5. So yeah, you throw up, and it just floats in this space. Say, are we like. <laughs> In a vomit comet? Like, oh, this is... Yeah, it's floating, and then it just disappears. Whew, like, it's cleaned away. And you see Flitz going, like... Yeah. Wildly <laughs> prestigitating it away. Um, anybody else do anything? Uh, what, what now? Kenna, is this, do, is this a weave thing? What's happening? I feel a pull from the eyeballs. It's uh, not good. I, I, I don't... I don't know. I don't know. Um... Uh, I wanna. Can I try to send Ven a message? Ven. I wanna, uh, I wanna. Yeah, I guess. I wanna like. I don't know. He might have. Wherever he is in Cathosis, his body, he might have been affected. Um, you are the magic's person. We need. A, what's happening? Um. Yeah. So I'm gonna cast sending to Ven. Okay. Um, then, if you're out there and of your own mind, a word of encouragement would be nice right about now. And that's it. Spell just fails, but it uses the spell slot. Uh, Flitz is gonna try communicating with anybody else we know? Maybe um, someone else knows more. Um, right, okay, um, who wouldn't- Hazar? Maybe Hazar? I did see him closing- uh, maybe, yeah, he was at one of the rifts trying to close it. Okay, um, I'm- I'll send, uh, cast another sending to Hazar. It's kinda I almost said eclipse. That's fine. Um, <laughs> where are you? Do you know what's going on right now? Um, that's it. It fails again. Fuck. And as you're all kind I of can't... floating in this expanse a towering figure emerges before you in the Expanse! Uh, they exude a feminine aura with striking blue skin, intricate veins of brilliant arcane hues running through it. Their eye, Her eyes emit a pure starry radiance, 
Uh, Kenna, you definitely sense the weaver. Everybody else would recognize the weaver based on their likeness from the statues you've been seeing. I did what I could to save you. Cathosis knew you were closing the rifts. Observing. And you can recall to the eyes that were looking out of the rifts, each rift you were closing. He used your dist you being distracted as an opportunity to shift things forward. What do you mean? Why are these eyes pulling? I'll show you. And she raises her hand and conjures an illusion within the shifting colors of this expanse. Lifeless bodies of humanoid and creature alike are strewn about every major city, small settlement, and remote corner of the world. With the restoration of the ley lines, the connection you share with your friends and through me, talking to Kenna, I was able to save you from the culling, but I couldn't save the others you were with, nor the ones who closed the remaining rifts. I'm sorry. The illusion shifts to revealing other parties closing the remaining rifts. Um, also covered in eyes, you see Thranazard, his arms, arms covered, with a collection of mind flares battling the Elder Brain Dragon. People, the parties I described earlier, but then there are people here that didn't see those, but you all technically did, so I'm not going to gloss over it again. Um, existence as a whole has become fractured, lifeless. The planes of existence now come into view. You see the Nine Hells, where demons and devils lay motionless in the now sudden aftermath of their eternal blood war. A war that never ends has ended. You see every other plane of existence is devoid of life all at once. Even the divine beings that dwell within and have dominion over each of these planes lies dead. You don't get a sense the gods are dead, but like powerful divine beings that call these places home were also killed. The reunion has neared its completion. The cacophony of eyes have opened the place where the gods sealed their true selves away, causing the purge you've just witnessed. A failsafe put into place by our, by our Mathenin when he ascended. So have we been doing the right thing or the wrong thing? You've been doing time? the right thing. People were able, I was able to save people to stop this. Regardless, I don't think anyone knew about the failsafe that our math then put into the place where they sealed themselves away. So when it was cracked open, it killed everything in creation. Aside from the six of you, I was able to snatch at the last second. What about Ilyaris? He... He was a, a guardian of the weave too, right? If Were you, you, able to if you don't him? see them here, then no. You see a storm over the ocean, somewhere between Old Anundial and the core of Anundial, with no lands or ships in sight. The storm you witness is an intense display of nature's fury with lightning strikes illuminating the sky every few seconds, just revealing millions of eyes looking down. The clouds are thick and black, appearing to roil and churn like boiling water. The wind whips through the air, creating a deafening sound that drowns out all other noise. The ocean below is in a state of turmoil, with waves reaching hundreds of feet high. The water appears to be alive, moving and surging in every direction as if it's trying to break free of its natural boundaries. In the center of this chaotic scene is a massive whirlpool measuring 50 miles across. The whirlpool is terrifying to behold, most likely, <laughs> as it churns and swirls with incredible destructive force. At the bottom of the whirlpool, there's a massive structure made of white granite but only the top of a tower is visible, somehow repelling this apocalyptic storm. And yeah, looking up into the night sky in what you're being shown, instead of stars, the sky is filled with millions and millions of ever-staring eyes 
as if the population of Del Nasra and existence as a whole has joined them in the sky. Wait, so what, what can we do? What should we do? Go to this place. That's where, that's the panopticon of the Prime. It's where we sealed ourselves away initially, connecting our physical bodies to the ley lines. So those who worshipped us, prayed to us, they could access our divinity through the ley lines. You have to go there and stop Cathosis' chosen people that have went in. So we need to... We need to... Like... We just need to kill more people? <laughs> is that what's happening? Uh, we... We... There is the... Is there something other than killing people that we need to do? I'm not sure. You need to... Something has to be done in that place. Find out what's happening. Stop whatever they're doing. I think they're pulling him through now. Cathosis. Just looking at everyone else. All right, get, take us there. Let's go. They have someone very powerful with them, with the weave. I've been trying to get closer, but I'm not able to. The closest I can get you is home. Drop just looks like what's home. You know, that's kind of what he, he kind of... From where kind of you'll space. be, you'll just be outside of the capital city. This ocean, this scene, lies between the core of Anandil and old Anandil. You'll have to take a ship to the Whirlpool or some other transportation to get to the Whirlpool and then into the Whirlpool, into the Panopticon. We have a ship. Perfect. Ricky was in that group, right? Yeah, Ricky was in the airship group. Yes, okay. <clears throat> Coins, yeah. No, coin, coins group was the airship group. Oh, right. Regardless, whatever. No, yeah, other, yeah, other group. Yeah. Other group. Yeah. I Ricky's probably showed you guys. Ricky's, got, Ricky's got a vehicle. Yeah. Yeah. Wolves. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> got uh, the panopticon of the prime has been opened. It's like a cacophony have made it inside. And, but first, we can't do anything here. And, snaps your fingers. And you all find yourself standing in front of the manor that Flitz wished into existence. You see the guards strewn about the property, unmoving. You see birds strewn about the property. And you look up and the nights, there is no it's only, yeah, like 3 o'clock. Drunk with your passive survival, it would be 3 p.m., but you look up into the sky and it's just a void of nothingness filled with unmoving, staring eyes. And the eyes on your body you feel like they're trying to tear themselves to join them. Yeah, this ain't right. And he's like, smack in the eyes, like, stop it! We gotta get moving. Whatever's happening is... It's happening right now. We have to move now. Uh, can I make me a wisdom saving throw? Uh, is this against a spell? Or, um... Well, of course it is. But... Okay. But I have advantage. Well, hold on. Mm -hmm. I gotta pull up fun stuff. Yeah, wisdom saving throw minus five. Okay, but I have advantage. Yep, so advantage it's minus spell. five. Yep. Okay. Um, okay. 24 minus 5, 19. 19. You feel as if, like, another presence enters your mind. And is looking through your own eyes. At the scene around it, or the scene around you, just staring out. You can feel someone is looking through your own eyes. Oh, do make I me to... an insight check. Okay. 
Ten. Ten. Okay. The feeling, um, fade, the feeling fades. Okay. And then a voice enters your mind. I thought you made it. I still think of you and the others as friends. I'm not doing a good impression. There's something I'd like you all to be a part of and see. I see you're with Drock Dax. I don't recognize one of them. Corden Flitz. This is fucking Ben. I'd very much like to see you. I think you know where I am. And that's all around the session for the week. Oh dear. Fuck you! Motherfucker! You better have internet next week, bitch. <laughs> I swear to God. Yeah, it's Ven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the impression was good enough. I got it. <laughs> yeah, that's a fun new ability. Peeking uh, through your own eyes. Yeah. And then look at you with my own eyes. Die. Uh, <laughs> and every living thing is dead. Yeah. How does that work? For. Oh my god. Like. Everyone is dead. Gods rely on living things for Guys. them to exist. All of our characters are dead yep. for campaign yeah. three. Yeah, dude. All of our yeah, campaign they... three characters. Correct, are Amundo. Dead. Everybody, er, everybody dead. Correct, Amundo. Mine Amundo. didn't notice. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> correct, correct, Amundo. Your characters for next campaign just died, but yeah. six he years before did not, the next campaign he starts, did yeah. not notice. He didn't notice. Just died in his sleep. <laughs> no, he was awake. But you know his, you know his oh, right. deal. Like yeah. just didn't he notice. Was, did no, absolutely. So. uh... No. Out of it. Everyone died across the planes of existence. Great. Um, Nailed it. <laughs> Guys, we're doing so good. Guys, <laughs> our math didn't we're put the in... last six people in existence. Our, well, ma our math didn't put in... Our math didn't... Winning! Our, ma our math didn't put in a failsafe to make sure that no one fucked with his divinity, and that failsafe was purge, <laughs> and it killed everything. I know right. that you are all. Oh, that's, hold on. Yeah, yeah, that's Coin okay. saying something. I know Sorry. that you're all concerned about your current rankings, but <laughs> listen, everybody here is a top six in the world racer. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Top six. But uh yeah, pretty that's, good. That's where we're ending it for the week. So <laughs> humble. I just killed so many people. Stay, hashtag stay humble top six. Yeah, that, yeah, that kill Noose, KD ratio Ogden, is off the charts. Yvonne, Yevik, uh, Henry. Oh yeah, by the way, when we uh, I forgot to mention it, or I didn't get a chance to mention it, but Henry, when the, like after they finished closing the wrist and they were doing other stuff, Henry just like pulled out his broom of flying and set it in the air so he could sit on it like a bench because he was exhausted from standing that much. <laughs> But yeah, that's uh, where we're ending it for the week. So we may be here next week in the middle of a move. So we'll see. But if I am, mm -hmm. ooh, what a point to pick up on. Um, Ven, Ven's back? Isn't that exciting? Oh, yeah. Um, I wasn't told. Oh, yeah. No, you weren't. Ven's back, guys. This so is, is really? cause for celebration. <laughs> It's a he's reunion. He's reaching out. He's saying it's a reunion, guys. They, they reunion episode. They mentioned that there's ah! the Weaver mentioned that the reunion <laughs> is happening. Yeah. What level is Ven? Like 13? 11. 11. We can take him. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, like... you know, Ven's like, hey guys, I mean, I still have, you still think of you all as friends? Let's hang out. You know a, level a level 11 wizard can still take out a party that doesn't know what's going oh, on. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah. Ven never had very, da very damaging spells, though. He always... Oh. Yeah, he was, kind of the, he was more of a healer. Yeah. Yeah. Could me that it. tidal wave would fucking well, wreck that's us. that's a third level spell. But, regardless, Ven's back, so it's cause for celebration. Doesn't know who Ricky is. But at what cost? <laughs> uh, everyone's dead. The lives of the well, world for Weaver one said, man. Everyone died, but Ven's back, so who knows, guys? Mm -hmm. Hey, who knows? Rock spell and everyone died. I'd say that's a win for the DM, guys. <laughs> but, uh, good night, everybody. We'll hopefully see you next week to pick up from our 
as we get into the final, final handful, possibly, of stuff. There's still a lot of stuff to do. Figure out oh, what the fuck, where you're going.